Alrighty, tonight we saw Arrival, or whenever you saw it, but tonight we're going to talk about Arrival, and let's identify the four through lines. Start with the overall story, a short one sentence encapsulation of what the, what the big part of the story is that everybody's dealing with. Anybody? The presence of aliens threatens to upset the apple cart. Uh, Brad, what, about, what is the apple cart? Uh, the balance of power. Where? Yeah, on Earth. Okay, great. Uh, so I would say it threatens the power balance on Earth. All right. Who is the main character? The woman, the girl. Louise. 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 Is it Louise Fain? Louise. L O U I S E. Yeah. Right. Um, everybody okay with that? Yep. Yeah. All right. Who is the influence character? I was thinking it might be the daughter. <clears throat> the daughter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Palindrome yeah. girl. Yeah. Isn't the alien? Yeah. The palindrome girl. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Any other thoughts about who might be the influence character? The aliens. The aliens. Abbott and Costello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And any others? Or is that it? Maybe. Oh, how interesting that nobody <laughs> mentioned I think it might be the. I think it might be Ian, but I, well, I think he's, if it is, he's thin. But. Yeah, I, I, that, that was my thinking too. He's like, take Lame. him away, you've still got the same film. Right. Hmm? Um, all right, so if it, okay, let's, let's look at what the relationship would be, the, the relationship through line would be with each of these to see maybe which one is the more likely um, influence character. All right, Louise and Hannah. Well, first of all, what is Louise's problem? Personal, what is she dealing with? In my opinion, I think that well, she... Well, I don't, don't I tell know. anybody else's opinion. <laughs> yeah. I really want to hear you from yours. Right. Um, I think something. that she is uh, dealing with choosing to go forward with having the baby, knowing that it's doomed to die and it has a genetic defect. And, and what is the baby? Uh, Hannah. Okay. So, if... That is what, if that what is what Louise's through line is, Hannah, it's hard for her to be the influence character if, in fact, that's actually part of what she's dealing with personally. I agree. I mean, just saying in terms of where is the alternative perspective offered by Hannah to Louise? I, I think though that, that with your description of her problem comes very late in the movie. I mean, everything with Louise. You mean her awareness of it, or what is she doing? She doesn't understand the choice you're talking about. The difficult choice of, am I going to go through with this or not, until much, much, I think, too late in the movie to make that the core of her Do you problem. think she doesn't understand that, or do you think you don't understand that as an audience member? She says, I think in the last quarter of the movie, who is this baby? Who is this child? To... Uh, Abbott. So I think she, I think it's, she has, I think her problem is more like she's being, she's having memories that she knows involve her but haven't occurred yet. Right. And, but I don't think the decision that you're talking about happens and there is even something she can dwell on until much later in the movie. But isn't that the nature of when you're dealing with a problem, you've got something you don't know how to solve, and you, it's, it's an inequity, it's an imbalance, and you're trying to figure it out. Isn't that sort of the nature of dealing with a problem? I'm having these, I'm having these memories of things that I'm part of that I don't remember, and I'm not sure exactly, but I'm clearly part of it. <laughs> But, that, yeah, that's problem is the problem. She, but she doesn't have those issues until she starts having future memories, and that doesn't happen until later. Prior to the very first shot in the movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's storytelling. That's storytelling. That's no, not. it is not, and that's where you're wrong. 
That's that's not that's that's in fact the problem is that she is ex she thinks differently from word word one. She is remembering things, and that's that's why if you if you are absolutely you know if you look at it as oh this is just story weaving, it's a different the story is completely different than if you think. These are things that she is seeing. Because if you look at the way she, watching it again, if you look the way she reacts to them, she's reacting to them like, what the hell was that? She is experiencing those moments. It's even not that weird. First, even in the first act of the movie, it's just, you know, what we're, we're, we're it's, it's edited in such a way to make us the believe, well, the first to make scene, us believe maybe in not, these memories maybe happened not, in the past. Maybe not, we don't know. Okay. Right. We, the first time we see it, we're, we're led to believe that these things had already happened. That's why she's so glum today, right. because she's so depressed that this you know, thing happened in her past, and it turns out it happened in, in her husband's in her future. So that doesn't explain why she's so glum all the time. You know, if, if she, you know, and, and presumably she's not having future memories until she starts encountering the alien language. You know, but you see that she starts, she, as soon as it basically she starts having interactions, those memories, she, she reacts to them. The thing is, is that she reacts. She reacts to them in the starting in the middle of the movie. She doesn't react to those memories or to those flash forwards. You know, in, you know, in the first, at least the first act, because um, they're all in. They're all in memory. There's also the first shot of the movie is of the house right before it cuts, it, and there's two wine glasses. Right. Doesn't that make it when she's married with Ian? That's the baby that, moment. That, yeah, that's not. That's the, the moment. Time. That's that's the moment when he basically they have the dinner and then he's going to ask her if she's going to wants to make a baby. Right, and you're saying that shot is also a memory. I think that whole thing is. Remember, she, it, it, it's 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 unclear whether it's a fa it's a flash forward. A memory of where we're seeing a memory yet to happen, mm -hmm. or. It's actually just a flash forward of an event yet to happen. Except that, uh, apart from that first shot, everything else is shown at very memory dreamlike. Yeah, the whole thing is very dreamlike, which it means it's not supposed to be reality. It's supposed to be memory. Right. And so it's establishing really early on that this is she's dealing with some stuff that she doesn't really she has no understanding of. We don't have an understanding. We haven't even a clue that that's what she's dealing well, with. I, I just put it in the basket of trauma. My lead character is dealing with a traumatic event, and we keep rushing right, and to this traumatic well, and event. And I think it's presented in that neutral way so that yeah. you think it's something that happened in her Exactly, past. exactly. Yeah. But it didn't. That was misleading on purpose. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it, it's, it's presented in a neutral way so that we will presume it is um, something yet to come. Whether or not that, I mean, that, that shot with the two glasses is supposed to be an event that has yet to happen. Right. Okay. That, that's why I went with Hannah, because she was the, in the, in the opposing storyline to Louise's storyline, it was always the So what is her Hannah. position? What is Hannah's, what, what does Hannah represent that's contrary to our main character? Remember, the whole idea of an influence character is someone that challenges the main character. So how does, how does Hannah challenge... She always throws. She always seems to throw her off, throw, 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 snap her out of what she's thinking, or throw her off. Or the memories do, but Hannah herself doesn't. Hannah right. doesn't represent a perspective. Okay. But the memories are part of our main character. Okay. So I don't think it was Hannah for that reason. I think she's just she's part of what the main character is sort of struggling with. That we we understand much better as things go on. As to why, you know. Well, if it's an opposing, if the influence is opposing, I would think it's General Shen. Is that right? He, he would be my next choice as the influence. No, an influence character isn't. It's not oppositional like an antagonist. Right. An influence character represents an alternative approach to resolving a problem. Okay. Um, that's why it's really important to understand when you start getting into so what is the main character dealing with? Well, what's the alternative to that? Yeah, yeah. Um, so would it be Forrest Whitaker's? He's the one who's offering alternative ways all the time. But he's dealing. All of that's up in the. The aliens are threatening us. He's all he's concerned with. We've got an alien threat. Everything he thinks about is we've got a threat. Remember, I've I've got to go back and report to these people. 
So give me something I can use. So right. he is he's overall story character. Okay. It's yeah. an alternative subjective approach, right? Because it doesn't every element in the overall story represent an approach of how to solve the overall story problem? Yes. Okay. Yes. So Hannah's not a likely candidate just because we have no clue what Hannah uh, Hannah's position is. Because, you know, as a growing up child, she's she's in love. She hates her mother. She all the things that she, you know children do as they grow up. But she's fairly neutral in terms of memories. Okay. Yeah, she, there's, there's nothing there. So I would say that that's probably Hannah's probably not our likelihood. Okay. So what about the aliens? How do we see what is what kind of relationship is Louise with having with the aliens? As represented by Abbott and Costello. Rewires and rewired. Okay. What is that? But they represent also an alternate way of thinking, of constructing thoughts, of dealing with time. Oh, okay, what is the relationship? Right. That you're describing what they might be as an influence character. What, what kind of relationship does she have with them? They're they, they they like teacher student, interpreter. Do they become friends almost? You know, right? Well, who's the teacher? Who's the student? Well, the aliens are the teacher. No, well, not necessarily. No, because she's the one saying, here's the method we're going to learn this. Humans, Louise, Ian, she's the one putting forth the framework. So she feels like one kind of teacher, but they're there to teach something else. Right. So I mean, they, remember, they're, right? they're, like the mouthpiece, right? they're kind of there to teach. Right. But, but they're not very active in they're right. They seem like they're making us do all the work. Well, because they're not, they're not like writing human up in their little. Well, that's Trump because was right. <laughs> aliens are lazy. <laughs> <laughs> they come all this way and you know, they, they, didn't send, you, they didn't send their best. That shit, Evan and Costello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but remember, well, the whole idea is that they already know what's going to happen. Right. They're the ones who are coming to us for a reason. Who needs to come to which side? We need to go to them. No, they need to come to us. No. 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 We, we, need to to we need to learn how to think like they do so that we can understand what is going to happen so that yeah. by doing that, we can also all work together. Remember, that was kind of the whole point of the 12 parts and yeah. making all of the world work together as one. Right, but the aliens needed that. We didn't need that. It's not a matter of what... Talk about the relationship. Okay. In the relationship, when you're talking about teaching, who's really teaching? The aliens are teaching us how to think the way they think, which is why they deliver finally once we once we've passed through kindergarten <laughs> they say here's your university studies now go to town you've got 3000 years to figure it out so we can <laughs> by the time we need you you can save us they're a little bit like the senseis in the martial arts movies that are teaching you without overtly teaching you. Right, right. Yeah. There, there we start off with the wax on wax stuff, yeah. and we're like, eh, ah, what is this all about? And then we find realize, oh, oh, well, that's what it is. And then we can start to, you know, crawl. Right, exactly. But they can't tell us what to do. We have to figure it out. So they have to challenge us and... Uh, and it turns out that of all the people in the world, there's only one person who is sort of set up for this, which is why I think she's already has thinks in because remember she thinks in she knows seven different languages, she's known it since she was a child, hmm. so she's already thinking in ways that most humans don't, and that's why she's she may already be really sort of on the way there, not fluent in their language per se, but in the kind of thinking that's necessary, she's more advanced, even though it's really, 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 <coughs> really right. early, which is why you can tell even in the flash forward where they're having the scene and they're all congratulating her, you know, essentially for the book she's written and then the, the you know, on all of this wonderful um, unification, it doesn't seem like anybody else really is up to speed on, on that yet. 
Right. You know, she's the one who had it. She, she's written the, the, the book on it, so to speak. Um, I would just say that I didn't get necessarily the impression that that book was written by the time of that celebration. Unification happened, but I'm not sure that she had... Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Because it was yeah. dedicated to Hannah. Who, no, which would have been later, right? Because right. that was only 18 months after. Well, okay. She knows Hannah's coming, so she could have... <laughs> yes. No, 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 but she has the memory later on when, when uh, but, it, but Hannah's, I don't know, she seemed to be more than 18 months old, yeah. It's interesting, I didn't, with her as, a, as, as the hero, I didn't find her having those sorts of, I didn't see her being as very separate or chosen by the aliens as I was watching along. It wasn't until that final act, that final 20 minutes where they kind of just expositioned out their ass. To, well, I don't, to I don't think they out. chose her. I think she was because of who she, you know, she's the has the unique ability. Yeah, so it's, this is the character that makes the overall story and it's success. No, I guess what I'm saying is I, I didn't see anything that said she has a unique ability for the first hour of the film, other than, but the, she tells a few languages. She was a linguist. That's all I really saw is her. Yeah, but she's she's, no she's the first than... one to get. She got farther yeah, in the first time she was with them anyone than else? anybody else had who had already tried it. Remember yeah, her yeah, first yeah. her first session, they'd say, you know, you made it further than anybody. And that's just on your first session. So yeah. she certainly seems to be you know, unique. And also her understanding of language in terms of like the Sanskrit. You know, here's got somebody who's got a mechanical understanding of Sanskrit. You ask them what it means. So it's not just what the translate, what the word is, but also what it means. Right. And hers is putting it in the context of the people at the time and what was important to them. You know, that they want more cows. Yeah. A desire for yeah. more cows. It's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But you know, we think of war, but that's they just want more cows. Yeah. Um, so I think that. Uh, the aliens, we still don't understand what is the nature of the relation, what kind of, so is it a sort of teacher-student thing, is it a, uh, I don't know. I, I think yeah. it's friendship, which is... Mentor, yeah, like mentor, yeah. mentee. Okay, sort, yeah. It almost had a religious tone for me, like they were deities, kind of, you know, a protect... She didn't seem there. particularly religious. No, but that kind of, <laughs> that kind of relationship. They were of a some sort of intelligence to almost be godlike. But I don't think that was her relationship to them. I think that you certainly saw in the overall story they had, you know, people were afraid of them for that kind of reason, or people were, you know, liked them for that kind of reason. But I didn't think that that was her relationship with them. Okay. Because I don't see any examples of that. That's the reason. I mean, to me, it was just. It's just like, I would just say, I don't know what the word is for this as a relationship, but there was just a built-in trust. What is a trust? I don't know. Well, I mean, well, unless, unless, well, you're, unless, it's a, unless you're talking yeah. about a legal no, relationship. No, 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 no. I just mean, a, uh, what's the corpus? Sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, it was almost a sacrifice. When she goes up in the pod by herself, and she's breathing in the fumes without the... the costume without anything but that's not a relation that may be an event but that's not a relationship i mean a relationship you know as you were saying they were They're friends friends They're friends they related to each other in a lot of ways i, I don't think that's relevant. they may end up being uh <clears throat> i mean i don't see them they may, yeah. there may be a a non-threatening maybe even more positive feelings toward one another but i don't think that's the nature of their relationship so I'll try reaching out to one another or um, figuring yeah, parent hey, I, I'm hmm, This is weird. I've never had this problem before. <clears throat> a, a relationship is between two things, like right. they're married <laughs> or they're buddies or they're the teacher-student or they're, I mean, so that's the kind, that's what I'm looking about for the, relationship. The, I'm actually talking about the name of the relationship, not the nature of how it develops or, or the moments in it because yeah, the that's what the whole student, through line is about. They would be teacher student then because they're being or they're teaching her the language. We really think that we're teaching them, like trying right. to figure Right. So out it's a teacher it's student, teacher but student. you know who's the teacher and who's the student sort of maybe develops over over time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that that's close, yeah. Um and now what about uh Ian and Louise? 
What, is, what kind of relationship do they have? Over the course of the story, remember, this is a through line. So this is something that the entire story. Not about what happens after the movie's <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> Colleagues and friends. I, just I think it's almost like sidekick. He's her sidekick. It's romantic, isn't it? Eventually. Yeah. At the end it is. Yeah. Later. Afterward, in the future it is. They're colleagues. Right, but but They're collaborative. So They're how uh, now he's she's feeling he's he's you know intellect, but they aren't a pair like that. Don't they try to do a you and I moment too? They Isn't try one, to, it, but yeah. it doesn't it's not feel a, right. It's not very successful <laughs> because I feel like every oh, on the back of the teeth. I feel like everything that happens is all about us. Yeah. Some really bad lie. It's just like, oh, everything that happened here oh, oh, seems no, to be no, just boiled down, down to us. It, it, it comes down, down to us. us. But that's, that's a logistic. That's a logistic. How self-aggrandizing is that? That was a, but it's true. <laughs> it's yeah. the two of them. They're the only ones who are getting anything done. He's on the math side. Yeah. She's on the but, she's on the communication. But what did Ian oh, actually do? England, Australia. I think he's the one. He, he's the one who figured out a lot of the um, orthotics of the the language. He's the one overseeing. Mm -hmm. Essentially, the building of the the, um, the vocabulary. Well, he also ultimately is the one who figures out that this is one twelfth. He's looking at it, you know, spatially. So he he is the logic side of the the two parts. She understands how to communicate with them. He figures out what it is that they've communicated in the big picture. I, I can appreciate all that on an intellectual level, but watching it as a viewer, I felt that it was all Louise and very, very little of the Because she's the, the main character. Right. So we're in her shoes. So we see, <clears throat> that's a very good point. We see things from her perspective. And we <clears throat> see him pretty much only as it relates to the aliens. Mm -hmm. Really. The first time we have that moment that's really, apart from him being concerned for her, that looks like it's going to be sort of that that moment is where they talk about that, and uh, and when he's up on the hill, and it's a, it's a really short scene, yeah. you know, when he's trying to dodge from, you know, they're looking for you, yeah, that's why I'm out here. Um, because I think the whole point is, is that it's not him yet. It will be him. We see that it's going to be him. At the very, very end of the movie, we finally see who that, who daddy is. Mm -hmm. Because up until that point, like they're really clear, they make it very, very <laughs> clear that you don't know who that figure is. It's soft focus, obscured silhouette. You know, even when he's holding baby Hannah, there's a bar in front of it, and he's already out soft focus, so you <laughs> cannot see who he is in, in silhouette. And it's at the very end with the whole baby, you want know, to make a baby thing, that's when suddenly, oh, you know, now I understand where that, what that's about, because we now know, we know what he doesn't know, and now we know she's at the moment when she decides she wants to go forward with it, knowing that he's going to be really, really upset about it, but, you know, she knows exactly how it's going to play out, but she still says, yes, let's make a baby. So, um, so I think... I think the relationship, it does seem to be about the, the aliens seem to be the one that's challenging our main character more than anybody um, uh, at a personal level and having a, a type of relationship, uh, which is why you do get the sense that they are, f that there's a friendship or there's more than just, you know, we're trying to communicate, I'm, you know, I'm on this side, you're on that side, let's just, let's, let's see if we can understand each other. You know, it's not more than just a negotiation. So, so Louis. All right, so our main character, Louise, change your steadfast and why? Change? Oh. Oh, no, go ahead. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> I, I think change because she's always changing her approach. She she goes in for the for, for one of the meetings, it's not working, she takes off the, the the helmet and breathes the air. She actually goes right up to the window. She's always Rather than just sticking to whatever the, they've tried before with the computers, she goes, let's try something new, let's try something new. That's not quite what this is asking. Okay. Um, that may be the case, but that's not what this question is asking. This question wants, essentially posits, the main character has an approach to problem solving. And if they, 
by at the end that that they have at the beginning of the story. At the end of the story, they have adopted a completely different way of solving problems. Then they're a change character. If they're fundamentally the same, they kept sort of their same world worldview, their same paradigm. Then it is steadfast. Um, and when you have the main character changed, the influence character remains steadfast. And if you have main influence character, main characters remain steadfast, the influence character changes. So in the relationship between Ian and, and the aliens, you're going to see one is changed and one is steadfast. It may be changed, but Not for the, a different reason than what you were saying. Yeah. I guess for me, she's changed because she becomes like open to having the child at the end, where she doesn't, it doesn't seem like she's really open to that earlier. And uh, why? Why is it, it's almost like she accepts like the nonlinear nature of time in order to do that. Like she's okay with the with the the grief of it. And um, and how and how do we know that she's not that way at the beginning? Where how is she at the beginning that's different than that? I'm not challenging you. I'm just saying. Question. Yeah. Where is she that that is a shift? Well, she says at the very beginning, yeah. I used to think this was the beginning of your story. And at the end, she says, yeah. now I think this is. Does that count? I think that's a really good answer. Yeah. <laughs> but, but both of those are after Hannah's dead already. No. no. One is, in fact, that's why, that's why I think that that whole first scene is a memory. It's not a... It's not a flash it's not a it's not an objective flashback flash forward because of that over because that's on the the very beginning that's what she says in voiceover uh -huh. um, and so uh, she thought yeah. you know essentially how this plays out was and the sort of the birth is the beginning etc but that's not really it she already knows the whole story and the beginning is when she says yes I'm going to move, I'm going to step onto this moving train by choice, not knowing what I know, knowing where it's going to lead to my relationship, know how it's going to affect all these things, and knowing that it's going to have really, so it's going to be bittersweet. Yeah. It's funny because I have a different example of change, a totally different example. Okay. I found her to be very emotionally, <clears throat> almost sort of crushed by things that happened in the movie, and at the end, when she, it, when she finally puts it together, she Released. turns around, she goes back, she gets the phone, she hides, she fights to make this happen, as opposed to being just someone who absorbs everything that's going on around her. Is that? Like, that's actually, I think that's, that's. Yeah, I think that's a really. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. I think that's a really good example. I think that's a behavioral example. I think that I think that yeah, the. Great. Yeah, that works really well. I mean, I don't think it's inconsistent with the no, other. No, I don't either. It's just funny because yeah. I it's just funny would not have thought definitely. what I said to you was just like memory. I was like, well, this happens. What do you think? Does that but yeah. I like both. sound okay yeah, to people? Yeah. Anybody, anybody? Uh, my question would be, so in the chronology, well, as time goes. Okay, here's, here's one thing I would warn you about. Yes. In this instance, the events as they happen... Think of them as that's when they happen. Even though that it's a memory is a memory. It might be a memory. This just happens to be about mem memories about things yet to come, but it's still a recollection. All right? As opposed to those events, it's not the events themselves that happened that are as nearly as important from a main character's perspective. They might be maybe in the overall story. But in the main character's perspective, it's not nearly as important as when those memories happen to her, the, the moment they happen to her, the moment she has those memories. And it's really apparent in the last half of the movie where she literally you know, has, a, has a memory and she like staggers. You know, that future moment has affected her right now. And there was a line in the script, which I don't think's in the movie, or if it is, it's really, really quiet, where she just, where she says something like, um, I think I just changed my own future. You know, she says, because, I just remembered why my husband left me. 
Oh, that, yeah. That's yeah. in the movie, right? Yeah, that's in the movie. Yeah, that is. But, but in the script, there's one she says, so remember the, the bit where her daughter non-zero says, what's the, game. what do you call it? The zero, but the non-zero, non-zero sum game. Yeah. There's a, a line in the script where she, or, where she kind of says or it thinks, um, I think I just changed how my memory is. I think I just changed things. Yes. And um, I don't know if it, I don't remember if it's in the in the movie, but the, it was not, that line's not in there. No, but that there's like okay, that was there were some things that are very explicit in the in the script that are not in the movie, um, and that's one of them where I went, oh, that's really interesting. I think they took a lot of those things out and changed a lot of the little details because they were a little too on the nose. Like <laughs> the story, mommy and daddy talk to animals in the in the script was. Mommy and Daddy Saved the World, (laughs) which is a little too on the nose. It kind of gives away the end, you know, really early on, because that's one of the early memories. Um, And so, you know, later on when you see her playing with a clay and you see the the character that, you know, the, the heptapod that she's done in the clay, you realize, oh, okay, this is something that's in the future, and it's something that we... No, that hasn't really happened yet, but she's remembering. So, again, to the chronology, I, I think, I, I just want to place, she says, I used to think, and it's whatever she used to think, blah, blah. Um, I used to think this was your, when, the beginning of your beginning story. beginning of your story. Right, right, talking about Hannah. Hannah, right. And, and so, when is that, that she used to think that? When, when did she think that? Yeah. Before or after Hannah was born? We don't Well, I'd say it was probably afterward. Okay. And when does this story start chrono- chronologically? Before she's born? Chrono- no. It, well, chronologic... See, that's the problem. You can't use it that way because you're talking about the main character, which is a subjective view. Objectively, it happens when she's going to school, going to work. Mm-hmm. And the aliens have landed. Right. That's what it's. It's. it's that's the point of attack in the in the overall story. So, when is it started? Depends on which through line you're looking at. Okay. Whether it's an I objective can, view or a subjective view. I can live with that answer. Okay. <laughs> but it, isn't the conceit of the film that it's all happening simultaneously anyway? Like, well, that's a, that is when you're nonlinear. There isn't any order. It's whenever yeah. it just happens. Whenever you experience it, that's when it happens. Right. And that's why I said you can't use before and after because that's a linear, those are linear concepts. You know, but if we think of a memory, it just means you're re- recollecting something. Well, when it actually occurred in the objectively is kind of irrelevant. And their, and their thinking is that that subjectivity affects objective, the objective reality. You know, so that if you get everybody thinking this way universally, then they can universally make things happen. Or universally they can travel from one point to another point without actually doing any traveling. They just think, let's be someplace else and they're someplace else. Like the ship does. It just sort of doesn't go anywhere. It just goes, it just dissolves from here and is automatically dissolving, undissolving someplace else. So it kind of gets a lot of the process part out of it. <laughs> All right. So we have a change main character. How about approach, doer or beer, and why? Give examples. She's a beer. Because? Because she does everything through memory. But so give some examples. So. Um, as a as a this would be her her preference. Okay. Or personal problem solving. So give an example of personal problem solving. Well, every time she has an issue, like whether she has a, a dream or, or she thinks she's having a dream, she has a flashback or something, she deals with it through that memory. She solves it through a memory. God, what's a better example? Um, well, but think of what some of those dreams, what happens in those dreams. Think of the longer ones. They usually have a little more going yeah, on. Yeah, I know. Um... Mm, just a little out of we saw it. Shoot. I know I have something. <laughs> um, help me here. 
Oh, I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on the other side of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> what was the example you used earlier again? It was just that yeah. she absorbs everything. Like, when she first goes into the ship, she's just, like, almost paralyzed with awe. Okay. And they have to help her get off, whereas Ian leaps off himself and trips and stumbles. Okay. Um, there's a couple examples like that. Even when she's... <coughs> after she, the first time she takes off her mask and she's walking back and everyone is just going into the showers, she has to stop and bend over and kind of... Process. Process what has happened yeah. to her. Yeah, totally, yeah. It's like, be, it together. if she's the beer, at least for the beginning, she's, everything's like happening to her and she's just kind of, she's Taking it, it in. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's, and that's then just. over time. I was going to say, that's, that's just being passive uh, one way or another. Uh, um, no, because she work, she does work through it. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's the thing is, it's she's, you see her being non-passive when she, Ha starts having the dream about the dinner, but the the banquet, where she suddenly is getting the information that she's going to that she needs right now. Well, and it's like, but oh, that's, well, that's very, that, but that's very late. But so with that, I mean, in terms of her original preference before you know events and influences change her, though. I mean, I, all right, I don't know. everybody <laughs> else has left campus. She goes through her same routine because that's the way she is and she goes to her class and there's no one there and that and she goes to her so she's like she doesn't do anything different she, she basically she doesn't want to upset she deals with processing it by like I'm not going to change my routine I'm going to be who I always am and I'll just ignore all the cha things that are, are changed that's a that's a beer yes no one the world is ending and I'm going to go back to my class to see if I can start teaching, or I'll sit in my office by myself when nobody else is here and most of the lights are off. That's a real be your kind of way of trying to deal with some, you know, this really heavy trauma that's going on. And even with her, when she's talking to her mother, you know, it's like, Mom, you know, she's being very calm and very collected. And you, do I sound like I'm upset? You know, she's she's just. You know, it's just, I, I absorb it all, and then she tries to calm the people around her by that way. She doesn't do anything about it. She just is, you know, she tries to sort of take it in and process it. It becomes overwhelming, and that's one of the reasons when it's so much that she kind of, it physically disables her. You know that her being so melancholy with her mom on the phone? I took that originally as a very sort of just filler dialogue. Now I think it's that she's always been this kind of melancholic, yes. dealing with things that she hasn't talking about. And, she, and she's single. And her mom knows this. Her mom is always probing, and she's always deferring. And remember when she says, he, he, Ian says something about, well, you know, now you can see why I'm, you know, not married. And she says, well, you know, I'm, it, it, she doesn't say that she's, she, she indicates that she's single as well. You know, to say, well, I'm sort of a different kind of a person, but I'm also single. I don't fit those, those check those boxes that you've got that, is, that are excuses for you being single or reasons for you being single, but I'm single too. Um, oh. But she doesn't say that she's a widow, and she doesn't say all those things that if she had already been married would have naturally have come up, because they haven't. You know. In the script, she says, when she says... I just remembered why my husband left me. Ian says, "You were married." Yeah, that's in the movie. It's, that's in the movie that's too, but it's really it is. It's really quiet. Oh. I know. Yeah, it's it that, 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 um, at, like outside the truck. He was like, "Holy yeah, shit!" Yeah, yeah. She's like, "Yeah, about to collapse." Oh my God, I totally whatever. didn't hear that. Yeah, no, it's it's there, but it's really quiet. It's so many. If you by, by reading the script, a lot of things are really played up loud, and and they're just just really downplayed in the movie. But, but I thought that. That was referring to the future event of Ian leaving her because she told him about the baby is going to die. And no, the, no, 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 no. Well, that's how she I saw is. That that's yeah. what she's saying, but he doesn't know anything about it, and that's yeah. why he says, "You are married." You were married, right? Yeah, right. So because she's remembering it as yeah. a memory, right. but it's yeah. not yet happened yet. Yeah. yeah. So, right. with regards to do or beer, mm -hmm. I would just say that some of the examples seem to be involved with. Her work as opposed to her personal problem. 
that I heard out here, but more importantly, when I see her going to work at the university, as opposed to her job being a, a linguist at the job at the alien site. Okay, but be going, careful about her job with the aliens. Right, that is right. the overall story. Right, that's, that's not, why that's I'm not the main character. The university. Um, it seems to me that going to work to deal with stress is a doer type thing. That you go do something and you do work. When she tells her mom, stop watching those channels, she's telling her mom to change the environment. There's a no, there's a difference between telling between telling somebody else to do something and you doing it. Huge different. A lot of beers tell other people what to do or do or, or behave in a way that causes other people to do things. It's they themselves don't. It's kind of a way a beer or a beer could actually be very assertive and get pe get what they want is by get them have the world adjust to them. So I, I guess that the position would be that in the initial opening shots, um, well, here, she is well, she is she we should be seeing these aliens to her as as being a cause for a problem for her because otherwise her dealing with just going to work or her not getting into an accident with the park or, or with the parked cars like the other people around her, um, those aren't, a, if the aliens aren't a problem to her, a no, that's, that's, problem, then those are not problem solving approaches, whether it's do or be it. Well, no. She, in her life, in everybody's life, aliens have arrived. And you can see how. Almost everybody else is behaving differently than she is. Her, most, people are driving quickly and you know, running, running into things. Um, her approach is to, I'm not going to change what I do because I don't, I don't know how to do that. I can't change my, I, I don't like addressing things by doing things differently. So I will change, I will address it by my behavior. That's, that's kind of what it, a, you know, whereas a doer, look at, do you think Ian is a doer or a beer? Yeah. Um, but he's not the impact character. No, he isn't. Right. I'm not asking that. Yeah, but no. as a character that they've drawn, he is much more of a doer kind of a character. He's, he's much more running around and, you know, and, you know, I've been doing this and I did that and I was calculating and I got all these things. <laughs> you know, he's much more physically active than she is. She's, she's like constantly like either passed out or, you know, just sort of, you know, in a daze. He's running around doing all sorts of kind of stuff, including rescuing her. Um, and, you know, if he was at that, if he was a teacher at that school, he's not probably one who would go continue his daily routine. He'd be going off and trying to figure out what the hell's going on and, and you know, volunteer. Just, he's, he's someone who needs to be active. She is not. It's kind of, you know, again, it's, a, it's an approach. How do you deal with stress? I, she internalizes it, you know. I, I mean, so. I, here's the thing. I, I, when you look at her as a protagonist, you can see, you know, you can see some doerness. You know, she she takes off her hazmat suit. She. You but know, a protagonist her, is not but, a main character. I, I know. I, that's, yeah, but I know. So I, exactly. we haven't so gotten, we haven't gotten there yet. Right. Let's let's mm -hmm. let's just, I don't. I would not. I'm trying not to confuse it. I'm trying to okay. pull it apart. Right. But I'm just saying that yeah, the, the doer stuff is. We haven't got there yet. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want. Can I just, just, just for my understanding of doer and beer, is it okay if I put doer as dynamic and beer as passive? No, beer? that is absolutely not the case. <laughs> because, no, passive and assertive or aggressive or whatever, you can No, have no, dynamic, not, not, not aggressive. I don't know what dynamic means. Constantly changing. No, you can have a very dynamic beer. You can have someone who is happy one moment <laughs> and screaming the next okay. and, you know, and calm the next, and it just... And I mean, look at a, a histrionic uh, president of a company. Maybe they don't want to do anything, but they get everybody else to do everything. And how do you, how do they get their, everybody in the room to do something? Yes, I've heard them screaming at them, and la, 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 la. you know, it's like okay, suddenly everybody gets like gets so motivated. A, a doer does things. A doer will solve problems. Like I have a problem with that. Are you going to fix that? That a beer will like try to impose their will on others. Okay. Or they'll try to say, I'm, it doesn't bother me, I'm not going to worry about it. A doer will go over, you know, take this, you know, literally they will do stuff. You right. get a doer who gets upset, they might run laps. Yeah. 
or build something or whatever it is that they do to sort of blow off steam. A beer reads a book, gets drunk, uh, changes their internal world rather than the external world. That's really the huge difference between them. Okay. Can I think and, of, and, there, and there are sort of varying degrees of that, too. A beer will just be... I'm just trying to put it in my head to understand your terminology. A, a beer will internalize. Okay. A doer will externalize. The, okay. army, the army guys who shot at the aliens, they're doers. doers. Yes. Whereas the guy sitting on the radio ranting and raving is a beer. Right. You know, he's not out there going, you know, doing it. He's, he's just, but he's riling everybody else, riling himself up, and that's how he deals with the stress is he, he whips himself up into a frenzy and gets other people to do things for him. Um, all right. Let's just pop down to, since this has really become a big issue, story driver, action or decision. So do actions drive decisions or do decisions drive actions? And this has to do with the overall story. We're talking about the overall story in this, so this has to do with the aliens, the alien invasion, and our and the Earth's trying to figure out what the hell yeah. is going on. Action, the aliens land. Okay, that's a that's an inciting event. It happens right at the beginning. Okay, and at the end, the action, the aliens leap. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> got a plot turn when there's an explosion in the in the ship. Right. There we um, go. She grabs the whiteboard and, and demonstrates. Physically, the, the writing um, when she is well. The breakthrough though is she takes off her mask. Well, no, yes. when, no, no. When the breakthrough no, be the when they first is the, start is the human inking out their circle things. But right. doesn't that after she takes off her mask no, and no. doesn't the that's when the she's hello? making the distinction but. of so they're first confused because the word is human. Oh, that's right, right. And, and then the man, she, Ian and she takes off the Louis, mask to show right. Ian and Louise. No, it right. seems like when they ink the circle, that's the that's the. Plot turn. That's the that's what propels right. the next sequence of events, I think. So. But but key things, actions drive decisions. And if she's one of the proponents of that, that's why she does a lot. She has to do some actions. Because as one of the people in the overall story, as one of the key people in the overall story, to move the story forward, there have to be actions. That actions have to take them. You know, we need to go back in there and and talk to them again. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if it's Ian who said that or I think she says it. She says it. But the two of them, you know, they they have to go back in there. Um, you know, which precipitates the crisis because the bomb is there and Abbott gives up his life, essentially, to give them the final bit of communication that they need, including the data dump. Um, and save them from the catastrophe they all know that's coming you know they know it's going to happen it's just that that's was he you know oh that's right i didn't think about it the aliens yeah, you know they know it right how does he, they, he, he knew it was coming i mean he when died landed without an explosion <laughs> and they and it shot yeah yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. dies when she goes into that smoky thing she says where's, where's that she says dead dead something i, know, right? I didn't know that the explosion the caused it well, you read the script. It's explicit no, no, I didn't. in the script. Oh, oh, it's explicit in the script. Uh, but no, it's yeah, it, 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 yeah, it killed him. In the script, it actually says that the glass shatters and stuff. But uh, we don't. They didn't do that. And that's why Costello, since they know the future, Costello, right before the bomb, yeah, you see him. He, he disappears. He, dis <laughs> he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He disappears. No, and Abbott, this is you know, is doing the. Doing the Exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's he doing? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> like, okay, well, I can't get him out of the room, so quick, shit it up. <laughs> I thought he had pushed everything out of the room. No, the right, be right before that, but except the fact that they were closer to him, they went flying faster, and then it, it closed up just as it was exploding. Uh, I was the, my camera was on the wrong side of that wall. Oh well, because you see, yeah. no, you I, see I, I that, that you see that from their perspective, and it closes, and you can see the flames behind it, and it goes boom, and then you see them go, woo, you know, slide, and then the gravity stops right. them. Right, right, right. Um, so this is why we see her not being completely passive, where she actually is doing some things because She's that's her job. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, when you think of what her job is. That's that's dealing with you know the, the story driver, as opposed to 
what her preference is, which is she would prefer just to sort of, you know, and because she's a melancholiac, she looks like she's wallowing in it. But you know, but she is at the beginning, but toward the end, she's not. Yeah. Um, all right. Is that what you're talking about earlier, where the protagonist is taking action? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's where you that's that's why I wanted to just jump here because that's when you're talking about a protagonist, you're really talking about the overall story, and um. It's not clear if she's the protagonist, although it does seem like she is taking point on it. You know, she wants to make sure that it all works out, and ultimately, so, it does because of her efforts. So we've been talking a lot um, about like whether or not the protagonist or the pursuit element is kind of tied to what you select for the story driver. Does it does it fall that way? Am I making sense? Like, um, um, does well, the remember the protagonist has not only pursue, but also proaction. And so, uh, you know, so proactively, proaction can also, and pursue can both be acting toward an, an action or a decision. Like, let's come, come on, let's, let's make a decision now. That's pursuit of a decision as much as it is, as, hey, let's do, let's do something. Let's go get it, you know. Those are, so... It's not tied to one more than the other. Um, problem solving style. Linear or holistic? You raised your hand. I was pointing. That <laughs> 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 linear. Uh, linear. <laughs> because it's, we have to learn this so we can learn this so we can understand this question later. Okay. So I see that as yeah. linear. Linear, okay. <laughs> everybody, everybody okay with that? Yeah. As a teacher? Well, well yeah, because if she thought holistically, it would kind of defeat the purpose, because that's, that's kind of how what, she finishes up. Yeah. What's well, that's kind of how she, she becomes. I don't think it's yeah, it's sort of like. The, but I don't, you know, it's one of those things where she learns how to see, the, to understand, think of the world holistically, whether or not it's. You know, fully linear or holistic, or it's kind yeah. of unclear. But in terms of understanding, because um, again, I don't think if this isn't something where your character will switch from male mental sex to female mental sex over the course of the story, but they can become. But when you look at it as linear and holistic, it's a, we, male and female mental sexes have both. It's just which is the which is the baseline that won't switch, but you can become more familiar or more um, uh, able to converse in the other area. Uh, story limit, time lock, or option lock, and why? Uh, time lock, because it's a, it's a ticking thing with the countries all saying they're switching so off their How computers. much time or what time is it when it ends? Uh, general thing gives 12 hours or something, doesn't he? Isn't there, isn't there a 12 hour thing at some point? Well, at some point, point, doesn't work. It's got to be, <laughs> it's gotta be something essentially that's established at the beginning and says, this is how much time we have, or this is how far we have to go. Oh, it has to be established at the beginning? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. What's well, established is there are 12 ships in different, all different countries. And uh, uh, somehow, you need to figure out, you know... Uh, the answer to the question. Why, why are you here? What are your here? intentions? Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, we, we have our people, they have their people, and... Um, I mean, I, is that it's then, pretty clear. Uh, pretty clear. Is that then option say, lock? Because be the option, option is going to be we're going to attack the spaceship unless we find out why they're here and what their intentions are. Well, an option lock would be there are X number of options, and once we've used, ex, once we've expo explored all of them, the crisis will happen. Yeah, that we've got the twelve countries that are involved. Each have got their interpreters. Those are our options. Once they're all gone. General, what's his name's going to shoot, or, or some country? I'm not sure that those are the those are the exact options, but it does have much greater. That seems to be a part of it. The the options but, I kind of see are like so. The first option is uh, see if you can establish a verbal communication. A, a communication. A, 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 uh, and then the next option is is that she says she can't talk to them, uh, or she can't duplicate their speech. 
Um, so then the next option is the the visual communication. So she takes the whiteboard up, but that's kind of going kind of well, slow. You're, okay, so you're talking there more about the goal and the steps needed to get to the goal. Um, so because if the goal ultimately is to figure out what the hell they're here for before we get into a war, uh, then there are certain stages you need to you need to do. You need to be able to communicate, you be able to understand what it is that they want, what, what it is that we want, what and what everybody else is doing, and how can we all sort of pull together before it all goes to hell in a handbag. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Which it basically the crisis is <clears throat> our options are out at this point except the last remaining one, which is she's got this new skill that if she can get it to work, she'll remember what she's going to do, what she's going to say to him, and then be able to tell him that, because she doesn't know it right now, but she'll remember it forward and, and uh, be able to sort of calm everything down. Because they've already figured out what all 12 parts are, and that's the thing is they, they know what the weapon is, because ultimately it's, it's not a weapon, it's a tool, but it's, you know, that's the, the translation, it's, it's their dictionary, it's their language. And, um, but right then is also when it all it starts to blow up, the crisis occurs. Yeah, so the, if the first option is like human communication, and the last option is the alien, learning alien communication, learning the alien language. No, I think, it, see, it seems like in order for it to be, now, we haven't gotten to success or failure, but um, in order for the things to, things will come to a crisis point when we have enough to understand them, but we still are not together. Because that's really ultimately what the communication is about because it's broken into 12 pieces it's like really you know it's when it's when it's succeeded or failed when the sharing of the information happens when you realize oh we can't do this alone this the whole purpose of this is to bring us all together that's kind of what what it all turns out to be right and so but up to that point we can only go so far on our own, and we can start with, we're not communicating at all, we need to get in a specialist. We got a specialist, and we're trying to communicate verbally, that's not gonna work. So we need to, then we try visually, that starts to work better, but we're still not getting anything back from them. So we need to be able to, you know, uh, uh, establish rapport, and then they start giving us information, which is like, huh, what the hell's that? And then we need to understand what, the, what it is, all with the idea is, why the hell are you here? And once we've gotten to the point where we now know why you're here, but we don't necessarily understand why you're here, but we know what you've told us and you've given us everything, that's when the options run out. That's when the crisis happens. And that's the kind of coincides with when the Chinese and the Russians have pretty much said, you know, this is a, you know, we're, we're backing off of this because basically this is a, a, a war. You know, they, they're giving us a, 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 um, a weapon. And uh, we, we, wanna, we don't want to be the recipient of whatever that weapon is, not realizing that it's, it's a, the, the, it is an error in translation. <laughs> um, and ultimately it's resolved, but that's where it hits the crisis point. Because you can't, they can't learn anymore. They've got, they've got everything that the that the uh, the aliens are going to give us, right? They're not going to give us anymore. They gave us everything we need, including a person who is thinking like them now, which is the one, which is the, which is what makes that main character un uniquely able in this story to, to make it work out. So, yeah, it does appear to be an optional act. How about success or failure? Fuck. Huh? I just said fuck. Uh, it depends on, 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 on what you say, the original uh, no, OS goal. No, we're talking about this movie. Yes. So, it's not a 
So they, this is going to be a success or it's going to be a failure. It's not going to be dependent on what we decide to make the goal. <laughs> there is a goal in the movie. We might have a trouble identifying the goal, but we will should be able to determine whether or not we think it's a success or failure. Okay, then it's a failure because she did not learn enough. It's not the, about her. Right. No, it's about the overall story. The linguist and the U.S. government and the other government did not learn what they set out to learn. Oh, is that why they uh, broke out in World War IV? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. The That's why they had in the future, they had the 18 months later... That's a happy byproduct. Their goal was to... Who's they? The, the U.S. government for this, this part. Okay, because I don't know what the Russians well, were trying to right, do. Cool I don't know what the Chinese were trying to do. I know that they were trying to establish some kind of communication, but the goal of the communication is to put a context in which you can decide how you are going to react against the aliens. Are they no, friendly? That's are they not the goal. No. Well, yes, that's why well, the, the, the well, military. Why there. You have to figure out why they're there. That's right. It. Right. Do they fit? Do they figure so out why, why they're? Why are you figuring no. out why they're there? That's that's a separate that's issue. No. If the question is. What are, why are they here? Which is the first thing they want to know. I mean, right. And where you're That's from. That's the question. And, we, and where you're from. Right, but they want to know why they're there. <laughs> well, actually, no one ever asked where you're from. I, no, I, no, they did. Yeah, that was one they, of the they, questions. That was one of the very oh, first yeah. okay. so but, but, why are, So why are they there? Do they under, did they find that out? Yes. And I say not sufficiently enough. That's, that's, this is not a, this is not a, a, a grayscale. This is a binary. Okay, well then they found out that they are there to get human help. Right, for 3,000 years. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so it's a success. Well, they do that, right? But they're actually there to share their language with us so that we will join together as one. That's basically why, they, so that we will still be around when now they need our help. Unclear. All we know uh, is that this... they want unification yes. for one reason or another. No, no they want unification so that when no, we... We need your help. In we need your help. Help can be being slaves. Slaves are nice helps. <laughs> Servants are nice helps. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. You are actually... Now, actually, that, you, that may be for another story, but that is not in this story. That storytelling is not in this story, nor is there a hint of it. There isn't even a character that says, maybe they're just doing this to enslave us. There could be, but it's not in the, not in the film as we saw it. So be really careful about projecting. I think That's the why CIA I ask you, guy was very close to that. Yeah, yeah, but if you've you got to go with what you see. Yeah. You really have to go with the data. You cannot fill in the blanks on, on, when you're doing the analysis. When you're writing it, that's your job. But when you're analyzing, you gotta go with what you actually have. So, because I, I, I dare you to show me that scene or that bit of dialogue that, that, that shows that. In fact, the bit of dialogue that we do know is from the future where the United States has, is holding a banquet for the unification of the 12 countries that got, of the, you know, that, that were part of this thing. In, uh, and one of the honorees was uh, uh, Ad, uh, General, Shang. General Shang. So we see the U.S. flag and we see the other flags next to them, so we know that it kind of worked. And it's got the flag of the universal language amongst the flags. It's right, it's right, flag. and that's one of the flags, right, exactly. So from that point of view, it absolutely does seem to be a success. Um, I mean, the, the, here's, the general says, you know, um, you, you, he, who is presumably the antagonist of the story, said, "You changed me. Therefore, I am no longer an antagonist." So when they, you know, when right, you did something that my that uh, my wife said nobody could do. No, his superior. <laughs> but, but superior. <laughs> my, but superior. My superiors could. Could be the same thing. You never know. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. But what his wife? But that's what I'm saying. What in the script it says what his wife says, which it was only in Chinese in the movie, right. which and, is. Uh, there are no winners in war, only widows. Oh. That's what she says to him in Chinese, mm. which was the last thing she said to him before Dying she works. died. Dying yeah. Works. So that's, that's, which I was kind of like, oh, that's, but mm -hmm. it would have given it away. 
that's the problem. If you translated it, it would have given away the end. <coughs> All right. Story judgment, good or bad? Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. It's an emotion. What is the answer? Is I like know. So? <laughs> because she goes ahead and has Hannah as a child with full knowledge of what's coming. She, at the beginning, she's very reluctant to embrace life, and now she embraces life. And and what does she say that we know that makes, makes her feel good? Something I, I know. Uh, I forgot I, how good it was to be held by you. Oh, right. Which oh. is a great line. And you imagine if he was going, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right, because it's the first time it's happening, isn't it? It's the no, first, right, the first right, right. She's saying, she's saying, but she says it this. really low, so yeah. he, you know, yeah. he's a guy. He probably yeah. wasn't. <laughs> 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 okay. Phew. That was a lot more of a fight than I expected. Okay, so, although because of all the memory stuff, I'm not, not surprised at all. Um, that always happens. So let's identify the through lines. Where do we think um, our main character is and where do we think the overall story is? And why? Well, clearly she's in the future. <laughs> uh, future memories. The overall story is an understanding of why, like understanding why they're here. So that would be activity. Activity. Okay. Yep. Which would make the relationship in psychology. Development like plan. Yep. Which is yeah. Yep. Makes perfect sense in terms of them having to <clears throat> figure out how this, hmm? how to communicate, how to how the whole yep. thinky thing works. All right, which then makes our main character in fixed attitude, memory, if, mm. you know, which is kind of like, I mean, the two big gimmies in this, I think, are understanding and memory. Yeah. I mean, you, those, those are kind of like the, the really big ones, because, you know, she's absolutely a, a memory character. Um, Sandy, would you go to speak one of those? And, of course, the... If you look at the influence character as the aliens, that puts them in the past. Well, 3,000 years ago, the humans helped us. So we need to go back and set them up so that we can fill them and get them going so that, it, so that we can, uh, you know, so well, they'll be around for us. What well, future is past and past is future. Right, but for them, it's the past. So are you saying that these aliens are actually visitors from the, our future? No. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. They're, okay. they're, 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 they, have future, they have future memories. Okay. So, yeah. you know, it, it's, then you get into the predestination paradox. And like, yeah, they're saying that time isn't linear, that they can move yeah. wherever, however, through time. Mm -hmm. Right. They, they've already mastered moving through time and moving through space. Yeah. We're just lucky if we can even remember time and remember <laughs> time. You know. Just, just, just to, to raise the argument, not to, not to count, not to counter it. But is there any argument to be made that the OS might be in manipulation um, uh, and and you know no, developing no. a plan? Be, just, be, just because of just because when you look at the overall scenario, uh, uh, you know, it's you're looking at the Earth. Okay, the overall story is about the Earth and how nations, you know, uh, uh, have these attitudes and, you know, about war and, and uh, so I'm just wondering if an argument can be made to put the OS in psychology. Not, but, no, because of the aliens. The alien, the alien, if it was an alien threat, maybe, but you've got, essentially you've got the aliens are sitting there and they are pos positioned all around the world and... All sorts of activity is happening because of that. I mean, tons of activity, mm -hmm. um, and it does. It okay. it doesn't seem like they're trying to manipulate anybody in particular. In fact, that's kind of the problem: is they aren't doing anything. <laughs> the humans are the ones who are keep on. You remember, you get all these people protesting and all these people, um, you know, and the, the getting their war, uh, you know, all of their uh, ships out there to. It's like. Why all this activity? But I mean, it's clearly the activity is the thing that's causing the conflict. I, I have a similar question, which is, 
at what point does this cease to be a situation story? Because they are, there's 12 ships in the sky. That's a situation that is causing all of these problems. So I understand that this movie is, in actually, is actually in understanding. Right. But at what point do you go, well, this is clearly a situation, but that's not the domain we're going to well, put this in. Well, well look aliens, at the look the at the aliens, sorry. yeah. Well, as I was say, look at the causality, the activities, the the you know, think of okay, what is an activity? It's an external process, right? Uh-huh. And so it's a problematic external process, meaning that in order to resolve it, you need to bring it under control. Just like a situation, something is stuck, and you need to loosen it up. Right. So there is, no, there is no physical problem with the alien ships being there. They're not like crushing something. They're not impeding anything. They're, the fact that they're there is, you know, is probably if anything you could say it might be a more of a psychological issue if that was it, but it's not. But it absolutely. It, I mean, it is for. Her her, but right. it's not for anybody else. It's the activities that all this freaking out that's going on, and all these doer things that are going on, not beer things, but doer <laughs> things. Um, and only once the Chinese back down, and then they, then they say, okay, let's start sharing information, then the aliens disappear. So but it's not the aliens disappearing that resolves uh, the the, the, the OS probably yeah, yeah. resolve the conflict and that's why it would be a situation if it was a situation so they appear that's a problem they disappear it's resolved All right, right. Well, what about this there is a lack of trust between the Chinese and the Americans that is exposed by the ship's arrival well that's why yeah, I that's, wondered, a, that's why I wondered if it was and then that, that, but that's not but that's not the story Th- then you'd have the whole thing from there. It would involve them. Yeah, you basically have sort of the Chinese America or Chinese Russia or whatever, Russia, China, you know. That's not the story. You kind of get bits and pieces of what's going on everywhere else, but only (coughs) sort of inform that in the general level of stress, of of problematic activities, external activities are going up everywhere, including at their base with the guys who, you know, bomb the ship. You know, so you, you've got, you know, you can say whatever you want about the Chinese, but they didn't actually shoot. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I guess the, the thought I had was, if you had a story where the character who had a, a terminal illness, right, so they have a, they're in a situation. Difference, it, the difference is, if they are sick with a terminal illness, that's one thing. If they are dying, that's another. So if it's the process of them dying, that's an activity. If it's just the condition of them being sick, that's something else. So I guess getting into this a little bit... You're like, I want health care. I can't get health care because I have a pre-existing condition. (laughs) That's a situation. Let's not be farcical, Chris. (laughs) (laughs) No, as opposed to I'm dying, I need... I need Look, no one ever a, a dies because you lack <laughs> access to healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so I think I think you have. Yes. Yeah. So just a little bit further on on, on the situation OS and situation. Uh, let's say with a future um, concern that the the ships come down. That starts the situation. The ships disappear. The situation is solved. No, no, that's, that's not, not the no. order of events. No. The ships appear, we start having all sorts of freaking out, and then all sorts of nasty things start happening between the Russians and the Chinese, and then America, these American servicemen start trying to bomb the thought. And only after the Chinese back down and everybody shares their information is when they leave. Yeah, but that, okay, so that order, the order of events there is really important. I, I, In other I, words, it, it's, I the problem is, is more or less resolved. No more need for the influence character because also the main character is changed at that point. But looking at what I just see on the screen, they leave before there's any kind of full understanding of what's being shared or anything like no, that. No, they already know what it is. They No, they know. This is our language. If you think in their language, 
you see time differently. She tells them that. Yes, I understand that. Well, well, so she tells still, them that the, the, the situation the problem ends is solved. before the humans actually do understand. Before there's a full sharing of any information. No, the wait, situation mm -hmm. ends. Full, no, they actually do share the information. Yes. Don't you remember? All the screens start popping yes. on, and they're literally swapping and, data. And on a nonsensical thing, that does not happen in the next five minutes when those ships are disappearing. What? What do you the mean? So the screens come up, right? All right, and there's quote unquote this information going back and forth, but right. the ships are already gone by before the information even goes back and forth. No, they have no. They disappear after that. Yeah. Okay. And and that's that, the, say, the, the ships remember, they also can see the future. They know it's already. Well, that part I, I, I can understand <laughs> that part. The ships disappear <laughs> after the outcome is successful. Yes. Remember the the thing that was the th the threat, or, or at least was on the path to being successful. On the path to being successful. Right, right. I mean, we know it's a su success because we've seen a preview of it. All right, we know that um, we don't end with it with they don't they don't they're not explicit about the rest of it because they're focusing back on the main character. The overall story ends before the main character right relationship the main characters through line sort of starts the story and ends the story. It's, it's sort of the header and the footer of it. Okay. And it's sort of the beginning of the relation story that's going to happen in the next part, which is going to be nice and then ugly. Yeah, they have to be opposite. The, the overall story and the relationship shouldn't have to be diagonally. Yes. So which one do you choose first? Either one. When you choose one, you choose the other. Yeah, oh... So then you're kind of thinking, what's the best fit? I can't find a fit for the IC. Can I find a fit for the OS? Yeah. Can I find a fit for the, and, and yeah. start a bit like Sudoku? Yes. You know, you try to find one. Yes, and let very much one. so. Okay. Very much so. Okay, so we're going to go over to our screen here. So we can switch over. And I will make the choices that we've already made so that we have those set up. <coughs> Had to change the beer. Oh, let me change those words so that they're back to the newer stuff. All right. Was female holistic? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, option lock. Success. Good story. So it's a success. Good story. But you know, it's not a. It's not a Star Wars success. Good story. You know, the good is. Tempered with some bittersweet, personally, so it's not yay. Yeah. <laughs> it's yay. Oh, better than worse, you know. Are you saying that there's a cost to it? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure definitely there's a cost, and and some stories play use the cost to really modulate the success and the dividends to modulate, you know, the consequences. Um, Okay, so we said it's an activity, and our main character's fixed attitude, and we said that's an understanding. And of course, you also have the misunderstandings that cause more conflict. Like, wh what is the, the word weapon? What does it mean? Oh my god, yeah. You know, so that's, that's uh, the words are not only, they're positives, but also they're negatives. You know, memory is not only what you recall, but also what you forget. Like, when she remembers, she's having the memory of the meeting that she has with the with General Chang, and she's forgotten in the in the memory she'd forgotten she'd actually had the conversation. With him. So in the current time, she has to wait until he actually she so can get the memory to keep on going so she can get the whatever he tells us. Remember, it's interesting. He walks up to her and he says, you know, he reminds her that they had the conversation. He said, I'm not sure, certain why, but. I have a feeling you need to know my personal number and shows her <laughs> the personal number, right? And I don't know what you're going to use it for because that's what she asked. She goes, oh, I need to make a phone call. <laughs> you know, so uh, I thought that was very clever. So are we now zeroing in on... Uh, yes, we're, we're going to be... I'm going the, to go to the, that, that, yeah. that view of it right now. Yeah. And uh, this is going to be... Arrival. Okay. So if we go to our theme browser, and make sure I pop back up. All right, so and I'll zoom in. So uh, if we look at our 
I can get probably both of them. Yeah. So you can see both of our um, overall story, which has the concern of understanding and the main character concern of memories. So we want to figure out <coughs> where the uh, the uh, go down to the next level, which is at the variation level, the, the uh, issues, the thematic issues. And in the overall story, we've got instinct, senses, interpretation, conditioning. Um, do any of them jump out to anybody? Yeah. Oh. Um, the pair of interpretation of exact senses. Right, I think we see an awful lot of both of those, uh, both interpretation and senses. So we'll look to those when we get further down. And what about our uh, main character, who's concerned with memories? We have truth, falsehood, evidence, and suspicion. I mean, all of them are going to show up, but do we have any that seem to be sort of consistent, or one pair over the other that uh, jumps out? I mean, remember, this is regarding primarily her memories. Almost. Maybe evidence, because that's the thing, when she realizes that they don't have to be in the linear form, she finally gets the realization that they could be anywhere, and the, that's how she understands the, the universal language, as it were, that these can be anything. So she doesn't require the evidence of memory, rather than... Or even part of it, maybe, that she could... I mean, you're going to see that there. The question is, if it's, if it's consistent, you're going to... I think it's more like falsehood, like she's, she's having... How do you say that? She's having memories that, that that she thinks may have been in the past or weren't. I mean, she well, so she knows there are people. So there. here's how this works. Just when you're dealing with a quad. All right. So when you are trying to evaluate something, one dynamic pair, like I say, is this true or false? That would be a dynamic pair. Then I would say, okay, well, let me look at the evidence and let, and let me look at suspicion to evaluate okay. whether it falls on the false side or on the true side. <clears throat> Likewise, if I'm trying to figure out which is if this evidence or is this suspicion, well, how true is it or how false is it will de determine whether or not it seems to fall in you know, one side or another. So it's, the one that we're interested in is the, not the measuring stick, but the ones that we're measuring. Those are the ones that would be closer to the the, the thematic conflict. Uh, so just think think about those. I'm not gonna. We don't need to choose anything right now. I just wanted to just think about those. So let's go to. Um, what are you measuring? I would just argue that she's trying to figure out which memories are true. So I mean, that means that's a truth falsehood type of an argument. Um, well, let's look down further below. And this isn't the overall story. And so we have, um, under instinct, we've got knowledge, thought, ability, desire. Under senses, we have actuality, perception, aware, and self-aware. Under interpretation, order, chaos, equity, inequity. Under conditioning, we have inertia, change, projection, and speculation. Do any of those, or any pairs of those sound? I, well, personally, just, just on... I, well, I like I like conditioning because I just don't from a thematic sense. I mean, interpretation is probably gonna you know show up, but um, but I don't think thematically it's well it could be. But I feel like it's it's more about conditioning because of uh, the, where the remember this the, is her personally not her job as a no no this is the OS. This oh, is oh, 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 yeah. right, right, okay. So, so no, because, okay, the interpretation is one thing, but it's, it's we are conditioned to think in terms of war instead of cows. Things like, you know, yeah. uh, it, it's, it's our conditioning as a, as, oh, as a people that... China's conditioned to mistrust us. Right. Well, we're conditioned to think literally. But what is, but isn't that more, is the question on conditioning or is it the interpretation? Wasn't that the whole point of the... The question she said, ask him about the Sanskrit word for war, mm -hmm. and then ask him what it means. Mm -hmm. That's an interpretation. That's interpretation. That's not right. a conditioning I, I, thing. And that's why yeah. she said, we're, we're approaching this from, you know, like an ABCs, or we're, we're like teaching a kindergartner. They're, what if you look, we said, are, you, are they using games to teach mm -hmm. 
Yeah, to, to try to communicate? Because if they are, then basically everything's a, you know, winners and losers, and so you're going to have a much more conflict-oriented you know, interpretation of everything. But, but, I, but I, I think... And then well, ultimately, okay. ultimately, isn't that what they're trying to figure out about the... the, the yeah, but look at the... the Encyclopedia of Galactica? <laughs> well, well, right, but, but projection and speculation are really good for this, and I think inertia but and change... The definition also, though, of interpretation is literally determination of possible meaning. <laughs> Fine, again, it, that, that sounds very... In this case, it sounds very plot, as opposed to thematic. That, that's, that's my argument, but... I mean, I have, I have, I don't have a story form in mind. Just looking at this, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I but just, I mean, if you look, but if you look at the, if, I mean, as a dynamic pair in this quad, interpretation and senses seem to be way heavier over the course of the story. I mean, you know, listening to the sound, I can't interpret from that sound. Oh, then she's able to. Oh, I know. Actually, I'm not sure if that's in the movie. In the book, in the script, there's one point where she recognizes some word because of the sound. That's like the click, click means something. It's a question mark or something. I don't, I don't think that's in the um, But, but the you know the how they look. You remember the the whole idea of the the image of the first image of the uh, aliens is broadcast, and, and people are going freaking out, and you know it's kind of like. The, the, mm. I, well, freaking I, I out is an like instinct. Mm. Well, that, 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 yeah, yeah I, that's what I'm saying. Conditioning as. It's like I said, this, is a, this really is a very strong quad for this thrill line. So there's no question of that. I think we're absolutely right, right on, on par with for, that. For me, I agree with conditioning, but for different reasons, which is as. Uh, she thinks she doesn't understand if she's dreaming backwards or dreaming forwards. So we. But this all... isn't about. This isn't her. This no, isn't but in the overall. Sorry, in the overall story, when the flashbacks are occurring. Those aren't in the overall story. Those are the main character. Okay. Yeah. See that. Those are things that she's privy to that nobody else is. Okay. That's so why I, I'm just really careful. There's an awful students. lot of main character in this story. So this is where you're when you're dealing with the the CIA guy, you're dealing with the the generals and the Chinese and the Russians and the Australians and uh, the um, other the other interpreters, the the workers. Uh, so I just want to deal with the overall story with this. Yeah, square. that's right. That's where the where it says OS, OS yeah. domain and OS concerned. That's the overall story. Well, how are we? Have we decided understanding someone that we're doing or is yeah we were yes okay because we were talking about it's understanding for for the overall story she's dealing with memory when you choose one the quadrant it's in it yeah. chooses that at that level it chooses for all four. Oh, you automatically get yeah when you pick one of those at the type level at that that size yeah then you get it for all four domains okay all right. that's just one of the Quirks of the system. Okay. Um, Just looking at the groups of four, though, the groups of four elements, uh, I, I feel like rejection, speculation, inertia, change I, are, is much stronger for this movie than order, chaos, equity, and inequity. Uh, just well, when you look at the CIA guy, you know, how he's projecting. When you look at, when you like a General Shang, you know, uh, uh, well, when, when you look at the overall story goal, and, and that's to change the human race. It's, it's you know, human race is, is under certain inertia, and, and so the aliens have no. to come and... and, and I, don't think the alien, I don't think the aliens are the, are the protagonists in this. I don't think the... Well, are they the I guardians, or, you know... But I don't think that's, I don't think it's the goal. The goal is told from, essentially, the United States' point of view, and the, the human's point of view. We need to understand what the hell right. these aliens are here for. Are they here to kill us, or are they here, are yeah. they here to help us? I mean, that's ultimately the question that comes down to, is like, yeah. why are they here? And that's why understanding yeah. is that is the key issue. If it was something else, that, but we can't take it from the alien's point of view, because we don't have a clue, except uh, circumstantially what they, you know, what they tell us, but that's not the position of the story. <clears throat> Here's another argument for interpretation, is her whole, as protagonist, her whole thing is, the reason we're starting with these kindergarten words is so we can interpret. Right. Because when we ask them this question. We know what the, we, we can interpret the, the answer. answer. We can right, we're going to understand answer. the answer. I don't know that it makes a big difference for the actual 
quad there, but I think that her going with the ABCs was so that there was not a misinterpretation. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, and no, misinterpretation it's, it's not, that... <coughs> for the quad purposes, it is. Misinterpretation oh, and interpretation from a choice point of view are right. identical. Yeah. They're the same thing. Just like understanding and misunderstanding. They all fit. So misinterpretation, if it, remember, it, the nature of an issue is there are difficulties. And so it's probably going to come from misinterpretation, like the word weapon. So There's would, a misinterpretation which causes a lot of conflict. So you just, and this is a general question, um, what's the inclusive opposite of senses? What, oh, the, what do you mean? It's like a disability. It's like, you know, not a lack of senses, not, not being able to see, deafness, okay. blindness, um, you know, uh, numbness. Those are all, those are all the opposite of senses. It's senses basically not only being able to, to see, hear, touch, but, you know, but also being disabled. Okay. Yeah, every single thing has an inverse verse of it, and this in, in Dramatica, that's all part and parcel. It's, you know, the, we have a label, the label's a real simplification of a much more complex uh, description of what this really means. Um, and it's an inferior, the, the further you go down, the, the more specific the, the label is, it gets a little less accurate, just because you kind of are trying to say an awful lot in a really small word and you and try to distinguish between the, its neighbor. Did you, you look like you are about to say something? I was just curious, so if we selected interpretation for the um, issue, I was just trying to see how senses show up. Uh, it will be... I mean, because the interpretation seems really clear. And it's oh, just like, catalyst. It's like, how does the... So, if, does the, if, it, if, we, if we chose interpretation as the issue, then the then the overall story catalyst, which means the thing that causes more conflict, which like the picture about the picture of them shows up and everybody goes, ah! or the even um, just them showing up and people seeing them. Well, that's what I mean. The picture right. of no, them. no, but even just the, the ship showing up. Well, sure, sure. Right? I mean, Isn't that, that also? Oh my God! There's well, some... yeah, that's sort of the introduction <laughs> of the there's conflict. No story that. <laughs> but, no, but, no, no, but I'm saying that seems well, like a census catalyst. Well, not really, because before. I mean, that's sort of the that that's that that's a week because we don't see them. The, the ships are shown as being both sort of they're kind of unthreatening, but they're but they're kind of shown to be really massive and beautiful. Mm -hmm. At least all the, the the way they're shown, except for the fact that they're there, is the thing that's like mm -hmm. freaks everybody out. Like almost one isn't that isn't that aware? Hmm. Is it wouldn't that be aware? You're aware of other life in the universe. Well, that might be it. that may you know, show up in the or, subjective. Uh, that that could still show up. But I don't, yeah. think, I don't think obje objectively. Well, let's let's look and see what what <clears throat> what the effect of that was. Let's just go. So, if we chose interpretation, then it says in the relationship it's going to be circumstances, um, and we also have benchmarks by based on. Something of our choices. Uh, oh, it's like benchmarks there before. So gathering information for the overall story yeah, that seems to be perfect. Yeah. Um, main character <laughs> contemplation. Which, I mean, that's really good. I mean, it's all she's pretty much thinking about. Thinking about you know. And that works with her being a beer as well, doesn't it? Uh, it it certainly it yeah. certainly does. Sure. Yeah. Um, and look at her unique ability of evidence. She's able to. She's able to pull out the 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 evidence that's necessary to convince General Chang, Chang, Shang, Shang, right? General General Shang, to stop General from Chang's blowing right. it, blowing up the. Yeah. But the that, other. Isn't, isn't that that's OS stuff? Yes, but the yes. unique main character's unique, unique ability. Really, okay, but contemplation. Wait. Yes. Let me finish. The main character's unique ability is the quality that makes the main character uniquely suited to help the overall story goal be reached. It's one of those ones that reaches across domains. Sort of ties ties the towers together. Yeah, I'm going to do a counter-argument to you, Chris. 
Okay. Which is if you pick the issue of conditioning in the OS, her unique ability becomes truth, which is also that she sees that the weapon is the language. She's able to see what the true purpose of them here is. No, uh, she so isn't. That's actually what that, that part of that is. Well, she's part of that, but also uh, Ian figures that out. Remember with the the twelfths, he he helps figure out what the the the, the twelve pieces are. So right. that's not uniquely her. So they kind of share that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she he says it's one of twelve, and then she goes, "Oh my God, it's the language, right?" Well, he, yeah, he's, he says, you know, he kind of tells it, it's, it's point eight three 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 continuum. Right. You know, that's 112. You know, it's like, you know, it's, and he also says it's incomplete. And you can see there are parts missing here. Is, that's, that's where he kind of, he kind of already had that answer. I think he was just sort of helping us slash her along to, to, to get to where he already had gotten. Okay. Um, rather than being Mr. Exposition, he was sort of helping us sort of figure it out, you know, make, it, make active participants of the audience, active listeners. <laughs> um, on, on their influence character, influence character being the hexapods, right? the heptapods, right? Uh, you have two, right? Well, so we have interdiction, interdiction <laughs> and destiny. Uh, right. Uh, it seems, um, now, uh, well, it seems interdiction. It seems like they, they are coming in, in order to... Again, I, you know, uh, uh, they're, tr they're trying to interdict on human affairs in order to affect the future, to interdict on the future 3,000 years from now. But isn't that basically what destiny is? We're basically, we're going to your, your, put you on the right line. This is, we're part of your destiny. We're, here's where you are, we're over here, and we just want to make sure that you get on, you're on the right line so that it all, it all well, lines I, up. But... but can, can, again, can, 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 can't you assign the word into that? Also, but also, this is it with regards to. Actually, here's the problem. It's about her, not the not the, the overall story. So I think she has essentially a destiny. Her role is part of she's what's the, going to happen. She's the conduit, right? You're right. And they're not trying to interrupt that. They're actually trying to encourage it. Yeah, I don't want to say nudge it because that's not it. They're just trying to develop it to, to sort of help her understand what her destiny is and, and on a personal level. Well, it's their destiny too, isn't it? I mean, they have no other way of doing this, right? But that's not the, necessarily the effect of what the influence character is. The influence character is really as it relates okay, to the main character. Um, that's, why, that's why I sort of backed off what the argument I, I was going to make. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm stepping in the wrong perspective. Okay. Now, it's really, thematically, they're about, I mean, it, it expands past that, but it's really much more, this is different than maybe their unique ability, but they're the Oh, and, and their unique well, ability, of course, prediction, um, which okay, which well, means that that would, <coughs> that would be well, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, um, that would be the thing that could undermine her if it, <coughs> if they were getting into sort of doing the more you know the prediction stuff could mess things up for her personally because it's showing her here's where it's going. You know, this your daughter is going to die. And your husband's going to leave the both of you halfway through because you chose to let him know where this is going. You know, so that's a, you know, you could see that as being a real big possible negative for her to, I don't want to go down this path. You know, fortunately it's, it's undermined. Mm. But um, I think Destiny, for in terms of their influence on her, is to try to mold it or try to, you know, influence her destiny. All right, well, if you pick destiny, then, sh then her issue becomes falsehood. And so, was, well, how does that work? Well, it's because her, her memory is... Well, her, she thinks that everything, she thinks these she things that she's having are, are like false memories, because she's not, she doesn't she live this stuff. Yeah. She's, she's like, these are things i who? What is this? Are these just bad dreams, or what the hell is this thing? 
you know, um, she's like, am I delusional, like, right? Or, or, or am, is it delusional else's hallucination? Yes. Yeah, right, and yeah, it's not, and especially since a lot of the specifics are not. She she sees these things. I don't know who Uh-oh. this yeah. this life is. I just not. It's, it's is part of me delusional, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's is part of me delusional, right? What what's the definition of um, falsehood? Because sometimes it's. Um, concerns okay. that which has been shown to be erroneous. It's like I'm sh- I'm single. Sh- I'm not sh- married. Sh- I don't have a kid. It's like I've got these memories of things that are not true. One of the synonyms is untruth, which I think is yes. really good for this. Like, yeah, I'm having these yeah. memories. They are untrue. Well, they're like which, fake but 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 I'm in them. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes. With the influence character. I- are we stuck with the past? Because I think that the whole thing is about the future. They need no, us to understand so they can get help in 3,000 years. Right, but you see, from, for them, it's their past. You see, they're, they're, they're concerned about... 3,000 years from now, we need these people. Yeah. If, you, if you stepped into their shoes and made them the main character, 3,000 years from now, it's like, holy crap, we can't do this without the humans. Well... Let's travel into the past and okay. go back there and uh, meddle a bit. Okay. Yeah, but isn't it how they're impacting her, her past? What, well, what she thinks that she's you, thinking yeah. of it as her right. past. Yes, it's not the okay. past. Yeah, but that was the argument you just made about. Yeah, her. that's that's true. So that's what you're saying. Yeah, it is. It is it's yeah. really about what she thinks is her past, and uh, and it's like yeah, which is why it's that's why I said you have to think of the memories as memories. She doesn't understand that they're memories. She thinks that they're something else. But it's, also, th- it's also clarifying her past growing up with these memories. I've grown up with these memories in my past. I don't understand that. These guys show up. That's why I think she actually clarify. has those memories are uh, not something that are... They're clarified by... Her. That's what changes. She's had these weird, false weird, strange memories of things that have not yet happened, like she, at the beginning, and that's why she says in the past, past tense, I thought this was your beginning. You know, I thought this was with the beginning of your story. And that's kind of with a, that's sort of a, I think that's more of a, uh, an author's voice sort of telling the story, not something that's in the story, but just sort of a commentary. Um, just like when she makes the correction, but this is really the start. Uh, I think that's more the speaking in the the all-knowing author's voice. Yeah, that sounded like narrative to me, and then yeah. I wondered once at the end uh, when the it shows that she's written a book. I kind of thought, oh, okay, that could be written in the book. Right, right. Yeah, I think that's a that that is does it has that that tone to it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, the catalyst, their situation, I think that, you know, as things start getting tense on the camp and, and you know, whether her being limited to when she can get in there or not, you know, that's sort of, they suddenly so okay, fine, then. We're going to send a ship for you. We're going to send you a memory of the ship, and then you're going to, um, you're going to remember that. Oh, we're, we've sent this to you, and then you're going to go out and oh, there it comes down. Did you, I'm not sure if you caught that when you when you saw it. It's like she sees the she has this memory of the the pod coming down. Yeah. It's like right. Oh, oh, I've got to go. I've got to go. And then she goes out there, and it's not down yet. It's and then it, you know, she goes all the way out there, and then oh, it starts to come down. That, that, that for me was where it really died for me as a film. I did too. At I that did too. that critical point, because they just started giving it. And as soon as she goes up, we actually literally got subtitles when the things came up of perfect understanding of what they're talking, and it just kind of I don't know. I just kind of went oh okay. Right, yeah, there's no, there's no more thinking on my behalf. You're just going to give me all the answers now was pretty much what happened after that. Well, yeah, because it's pretty much just about at the end. Yeah. But I didn't figure out that she... I didn't feel like she... If I'm putting myself in Louise's character as the movie's going on, I wasn't even close to figuring out anything. Right. That's why if you watch it again... Yeah. 
this is why I told you before. Yeah. Um, I know, apart from you, who hated it, um, <laughs> I, I saw it, and I, I knew I didn't, uh, I figured out what was going on but the first time I watched it, but I couldn't figure out why I didn't pick up on a lot of things. And I went back, watched it again, that was a couple of weeks later, and it's like, oh, it's, it's all there. I mean, right. they literally tell you everything that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. They just don't make a big deal of it, and it just sounds like, it just sounds like chit chat. But it's like, oh no, okay, that's where they set up this. This is where they set up. They oh, they told me about that. Oh, okay, I didn't even pay attention because I didn't know. And so, if you watch it again, you'll see it's really all there. It doesn't. It, it's you know, you just don't know how to interpret it. So it just looks like chatter. Right. Um, so it really does. I thought. It plays better in terms of understanding it, way better the second time, because it's not just like what the f is going on with <laughs> this thing. I, I'm not uh, I'm not getting it. And they changed some things from the script, because when she, she there's a part where she starts in that scene, she starts writing because she says I only can write with one hand. Yeah. And I mean, she starts doing it freehand, and he's doing the other part of it. That's actually in a scene where the humans are there, and she just starts writing, and they're like, "That's the the her boss is like, what the hell are you doing?" And that's when they say, you know, about the dreaming of it. And have you been dreaming in their language? You're right. Yep. Yeah. Right. But but there was sort of like too much, too fast. Yeah. But the result is then everything else had to be sort of crammed in right. in that yeah. scene. How did she write without the ink? She no. All in she needed. No. What they do is. She went up to the, like she did in there, except she just went up to the window, and she would, they basically sensitized it, so she could she could do this on the window, and on their side, oh. the ink would still coalesce. Still the spaceship, still on the window. Right, 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 right. That's why I say it was the scene before she was in the tank. Um, where And that's when, it, it was, uh... So it was, I guess, the scene when you know that gets blown up. You know, when there's she's she's writing furiously on the pad. Well, she they, they didn't do it that way. She she just went up and started, like, just writing several words, and then they 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 said, "What did you write there? We didn't. Those aren't words that we know." You know, and that's why they got all like really totally freaked out and didn't want her to go back in, and you know, and everything else. It did seem kind of fast that she suddenly learned how to write like that, and it would have been better to have one more step. Yeah, and I, I think it was just a matter of time, I guess. Yeah. But she, at that point, she already had, she was already sort of thinking in the way they they think. Um, okay, so let's let's get. We're now we're down to. Uh, so, what do we have for our overall story problems? Equity or inequity? Well, let's think of the symptom first. Okay, chaos and order. So, the, the symptom, overall story symptom is what things appear to be causing trouble as opposed to what's truly causing trouble. Um, and then the response is, how do we resolve? How do we? What's the what's the treatment or the solution to that apparent problem? Um, so, well, worldwide, the, sorry, I would say worldwide the response is chaos. Yeah. Right, and it it's, gets more and more and more. I mean, even from the how, first. How about how's the symptom order though? Because there's all these like spaceships that have landed, and it's like well, well and it's and like and, order and of these things. the effort is to try to create order, which is why they have the. Which is why they have the um, the teams working together. It's and they have the the military is all trying to control things very orderly. Right. So the response is order. No, the response. No, it's chaos. Yeah, no, the response is order. The symptom is chaos. Right. Um, okay, the symptom is chaos. Okay. That's right. That makes a little more sense. The other way. Yeah, the countries are all doing weird things. The public so but I still have a problem of what the problem looks like. Is everybody going oh, nuts? Oh, the problem is definitely not equity. The problem is inequity. Uh, I mean, I mean, well, the solution would be equity because it's yeah. 
it's ever, all the 12 parts are equal. Well, the, the, inequity, the inequity is that we don't get along as a society, as humans, right? Like that we're, we can't collaborate on this problem. Yeah, yes, I, and yeah, I think so. I'm trying to understand the symptom of order, other than... Isn't it just so they're trying to discover what the what the order is there's for what's a, going on? There's 12 of these things. What's the, yeah, there's what, a newscast where they say, why, why are these things placed at these certain locations across the globe? What's the pattern to them? You, even you even, even trying to draw the circle and stuff is like, what's and, the order to the circle? the response to that question we don't is understand. chaos? Well, yeah, because yeah. the people who can't they figure remember, out the, they order, don't understand the order. They the, don't. the response yeah. is, that, okay, they see these things, they're trying to understand it, but they... Um, chaos. Sure, fit. Like when they try to blow Sure, it. when they try to blow it up, that's a chaotic thing. Well, right. Okay. And also, also just the riots in Venezuela. Yeah, riots. And, yeah, the, and they're trying to blow it up by the Chinese. And, I mean, that certainly does seem to be response. the response. Is rather, rather, and even at the very beginning at school, you know... We're well, basically seeing it through the U.S. eyes. I mean, like, that's nice window dressing, but we're supposed to be seeing it through the U.S. government eyes, basically, for part, well, part of this OS story. Well, no, we no. do, no, we see it from everybody, but we, we only, it's only told to us from the viewpoint of the U.S., but, it, I mean, we're seeing exactly what's happening with the Chinese, what's happening with the Russians, what's happening with the Brits, the Aussies, um, you know, some of them are a little more uh, chaotic than others. Um, but remember, this is a this is a problem that, that you could treat the symptoms, but the treating the symptoms isn't going to resolve the problem. You actually have to solve the problem, well, which is the whole point of the twelve. Yeah, you know, you have to you you you've got these built-in inequities in the world, and we're not going to give it to one because that'll just continue the inequity, we're going to give it to basically all of the major countries in the world for the double dose for the Russians, and um, but you need all 12 working together in order to actually find, you know, equity, balance, so that you'll be around when we need you in 3,000 years. Um, so where do we have our main character so she would have a, the problem of inequity. So that's, that's the cancer, I think. Oh, well, the unfairness of the, yeah, yeah the cancer. Right. It's just, yeah. here we've got this pure, beautiful child, and I have a, a talent that nobody else has that um, breaks up my marriage, and the inequity of life is that my child, who's so wonderful, dies of a very rare genetic disease. Mm -hmm. um, and the solution is equity is like, well, the balance, you look to seek balance, and the balance is life is both life and death, yeah. And, yeah. and coming together and falling apart, and just accept both. What did you say symptom and yeah. response was? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Working up to that. <laughs> Isn't it too like a zero sum game that life is a. For what? For her. Isn't that what she finds out? For, you mean the solution? Her. Yeah. Yeah. For her. No, it's, that, it's a non zero sum game. Or non zero. Okay, yeah. Big right. <laughs> well, no, that's the problem is that I think she thinks the world is a non. That's, I think that's it. I think she thinks the world is a zero sum game. Somebody wins at somebody else's loss. Oh, okay. And that's how she changes, is that she really understands that the world can be a non-zero-sum game where you can win, you can both win and both lose, and a little bit of each is still balanced. Because that's reflected in her personally, like right. the ups and downs. Right, 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 right. But, so, projection... Um, so that she's seen projections of her daughter in the memory... Well, she doesn't know. I think the problem is that she doesn't. That, yeah, there there are projections of something, and she's not really. She doesn't know what sure it is. It is right. And of course, the speculation is, am I going nuts? <laughs> uh, Were these memories planted? Where's this crap coming from? Yeah. And obviously, it's not until she realizes sort of the bigger picture what's going on that she's able to resolve that. Um, 
And the critical flaw of interdiction. Okay, this is the thing that's under that could screw her up. Um, I would think, even though they don't go into this, maybe this is me projecting, but it's she doesn't want to bring a daughter into the world who's going to die. That's what will hold her back. Right. The do Hannah is, is an integral part. If she tries to stop having Hannah, everything goes to hell in the handbasket. No, and also the husband. Work. She doesn't want to lose her right. husband. But it's Hannah who goes forwards and backwards in time, just like the palindrome. And she right. hopes, and that's, it's Hannah who wakes her up. Wake up, Mommy, at the critical juncture. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't have Hannah, it doesn't work. Right. Um, okay, so the relation, uh, so the relationship we have is manipulation or psychology. Actually, manipulation might work in this, but developing a plan is really strong. So we've got to figure out a way to understand one another and how to work together. And you've got something planned, and uh, we have no idea how to do this. Let's let's figure it out. Um, the issue of circumstances. I think that's sort of like, okay, I've got limited amounts of time and I'm, we've got these guys that are, we have to, are listening to us who tell us what we have to talk to you about, what words we have to use, what we don't, where is it, of course, not giving us the right way to communicate properly. Um, problem of perception. Where, where is it? So, circum as I understand circumstances, that's kind of supposed to be more emotionally oriented as opposed to like con contrast against situation. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty good. Um, it's an emotional assessment. Uh, I think it's they have to see me. I have to take off my suit because they have to see me. Yes. Uh, well, I think ultimately you see that's one of the reasons why she gets into the tank with them. I mean, you know, sort of one on one in the same environment, and it seems to be a very She's really emotional in that scene. That, you know. that was the bit to me that seemed almost religious. It was like sacrifice. She had no idea what was going to happen when she went up there. Mm -hmm. She's right. making the ultimate sacrifice when she does it for the human race. Well, she, made, yeah, she, makes, she, she, she doesn't know what the threat is, but she knows that there's yeah. a potentially a big yeah. threat. Right. Um, the symptom of order and chaos, again, I think that... The problem is, you know, if you're trying to do things very, if, if you try to communicate in a very ordered fashion, it's, it only gets you so far, and she has, she tries to do things to sort of, not only in their relationship, it's sort of, Well, I mean, her response, her yeah, her response at one point is to take off her hazmat suit, which is... They both need to loosen up. Which is defined the, or, the military order of, of, the, of the, the protocols. And do you know? You know, and, but that's just one example. And that, that's what the universal language is at the end. It's it's a it's a circle. Time is a circle, a never ending circle. So, what she thinks is chaos is actually the order of the universal language. Okay, and there. So the problem of perception, in this case. So this would be the, in the relationship. Um, how when perceives the other, or what, the, what is the perception of the relationship versus the actuality of it? The perception is that they're... Well, it, no, isn't it that she's the teacher and they're the subject, but really it's flipped? Like, the, the actuality is that they've come to teach her, where she, hmm. at first she's the professor. That's actually but really cool. That, I was going to say... Problem it's a relationship. Actually... actually Oh sure, but well, I, it I does... think if, if if you think you're the one who's sort of leading the charge when you're actually sort of being backled, it it could cause you know conflict. Yes, it, it could, but again, I'm limited to what I see on the screen, so okay. I don't see a problem out of that. Well, I would say actually, I thought that was a great example. I was going to say I thought it was just as simple as one perceives time. Non-linearly in the oh, other oh, one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, 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 yeah, that's really yeah. simple. Yeah. 
I think that, that, is that the true state of things you're saying is that yeah. time is not and, and that instead of developing a plan, it's conceptualizing nonlinear time. Right, right. Well, I think developing a plan is part of it. Certainly, she sees it as developing a plan, they see it as conceptualizing. Yeah. And that's but if you're part taking of the, the author's right, 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 right. Yeah. It's funny because the influence character problem or motivation here is thought, which is, I think, they're trying to change the way she thinks. Yes. Yeah. the same thing as the conceiving that you're saying right mm. up there. Yes. 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 Um, conceiving? Oh, yeah. Conceiving, conceiving the idea, you mean the benchmark? Oh, uh, the prerequisite. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, about, I meant uh, conceptualization. Consideration. But yeah. Oh, concept. Oh, uh, right. right. Concept. Okay. Yeah. It's about perception. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that is their motivation is. Yeah, they want they 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 think the, the way they think is what is you know motivates them how they think I think is better more than anything. Um, well, they want people. They to also think they want us to think like that. Yeah, right to think differently. Yeah. Well, they want her particularly because they, they, they found someone who or they knew. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, can you do the consequence to you? Just I have a story that has the same consequence. The consequence of uh, developing a plan? Conceptualizing. So this is... <coughs> okay, so the goal is to understand what the what what it is that these... what Why are these people... Why are these aliens here? Right? I mean, why are these guys here? What do they want? What can we... What can they do first? <laughs> we really need to understand why they're here. Um, the, and if we don't, um, the consequence of conceptualizing... Uh, or developing. Okay, so the the antag oh, basically, if you think of it from the antagonist point of view, so antagonists in this case are the ones who are trying who want to go to war, right? So the the consequences to figure out how to um, how to how defeat, them. defeat them, yeah, or to, to protect yourself from them, or you know, all basically those all those really nasty things that are starting to happen, those are, those are effectively, the consequence would be that we're going to, um, well, if it's, well, all right, if you're looking at it from the objective point of view, the consequence would be that we're not going to be able to conceptualize the way they think, the way, the way they need us to, and um, we will not find unity, and they will perish in 3,000 3, years. We don't need. Th we don't necessarily know that, but if you're thinking about it, in order for us to work, we all have to be unified, and we need to start thinking like they do, because that's the only way we're going to really survive. So if we if we don't, we're going to we'll lose the ability to conceptualize time in a nonlinear fashion. Eh, eh. Or could it be the consequence of uh, all those paranoid? Imaginings of what could possibly happen if these guys are threats. You mean them all? All basically, yeah, all those guys who are doing the, the people rioting, the guy on the radio, the the soldiers who go to because they're all imagining like the worst possible thing that could happen with these guys. And then and, and that's and the developing those plans for taking action, figure out what to do about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's a, that that's in the movie. So I think that's a that's a stronger so, example. So you're saying it's the work. So it's, it's essentially the plans that people are making to try to, um, in response to the, you know, if you don't figure out, don't get the goal, then there all these nutcases, all, all the war, all the people who are driven by fear are gonna um, go to war. Well, they or may not go to war, but they're certainly going. That's the that's going to be their who they. It's gonna be where the human race is at that point. Remember. The world is going to start falling apart because you've got all these people who are freaked out about this stuff. They, you know, they'll start fighting, shooting at the at the aliens and and killing, you know, trying to blow it up and maybe start riots and all that kind of stuff because there are, that's that's kind of what's going on. Um, well, let me see. What are the four warnings? So the four, con contemplation, that's, that's the, the, those are the, that's the nutcase guys about, you know, on the radio. Contemplation, what's going to happen, you know, what, you know, if it, why are they really here and starting to think about all the possible 
negative things, the reasons why they're here. They're gonna they're gonna dominate us. They're gonna and they only have a couple of things that they actually have in there. Like preconditions of the present. So it's sort of like the aliens are going, okay, you know, uh, you have to deal with this in the here and now. Um, you know, we're here, deal with it, you know. Um, right. And prerequisites. Well, requirements gathering information, learning, of course, gathering information, yeah. gathering, the, you know, and prerequisites. I think those, are, I think the prerequisites are the things like, okay, how are the ways we can communicate with them? What are the but words? But you have to wrap them? your head around this language. I mean, it's... Uh, um, well, but now I think it's even smaller than that. It's like coming up with an idea. Okay, how are we going to, what words are we going to use? Mm -hmm. What, uh, how are we going to communicate with them? Well, this is not going to work. How, okay, I mean, let's take, let's... How do we show the difference between people? Well, let's take off our hats and stuff and stuff. We can sing, get an idea of who we are, you know, so that they can tell, distinguish one from the other because with the hats on, with the space helmets on, we, we look exactly the same. Um, and then they start giving us this vocabulary and we got to get, what the hell does this mean? You know, we got to get an idea of what their words are and what their vocabulary is, because it's completely different. So I think you have all those little steps. It's all those little, just kind of keep on sort of, oh, what's this? Like, oh, I get it. That's what this is. Oh, I get it. That's how we do this. Oh, I, you know, all those kind of little steps that they get, um, and, including the ones that are the internal ones with, okay, so that the FBI or the CIA guy is asking about and the general is asking about or the major or whatever he is. Um, you know, all those little things about, well, I got, you know, I have to have a bunch of people, I have a bunch of questions about this, and I have to have an idea about what it is that they want, or what, all those are little, sort of, conceiving an idea. You've got to come up with ideas for these things. But I think that the, it, it's a it's a heavily, for being a, a an activity movie, it has an awful lot of um, mental, um, well, pieces you know, in, the, in the plot, you know, driving it forward, which is sort of how it feels. You know, you've got all these intelligence, you know, intelligence gatherers and... Well, understanding is the most kids. psychological quadrant of the physics domain, and conceptualizing yes. is the most physical quadrant of the psychology domain. Right. So, looking at the static plot points, just one more time, uh, cost is the past. Is that... The past as Lingus Louise feels, understands it? Is it the past as the U.S. government understands it? Is it the past as, I think, because it, what past or kind of past are we talking about as cost? I think it's more or less, okay, in order for us to move beyond this, we're going to have to get past, get, get, move beyond all of our past, you know, every, sort of all of the things that we've established in the past. Um, you know, you, you can imagine that there are, um, you know, who, ha who has, uh, you know, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to look for examples in the film. Unfortunately, I'm starting to fabricate and I don't want to do that. Um, oh, it's just a future memory. Don't worry about it. <laughs> No, it's not a memory. <laughs> do, do the static plot points apply to to the overall story? To only the overall story. Primarily. Because and and the the plot points that don't change. That's why they're called static plot points. The, the, they don't change their nature over the course of the story. So the goal is always the goal. Okay. You know, the goal of understanding is always going. It may be explored in different ways and better understood over time. Yeah. But the nature of it's not going to change. Um, and the algorithm gave us these ones, and we're now checking that they we like. Correct. Yeah, like, the ones that are in red are the ones that are the implied choices, and the and the blue ones were the ones that we explicitly we chose. Yeah. yeah. But uh, is cost co cost is a negative, right? Yes. All right. Cost. So we're even if we succeed, we 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 pay a cost of, uh, you know the. Uh, well, if we succeed and we have unification, we have to give up the past way of the way we did things. Isn't the cost Hannah, her daughter, dies? That's the cost. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. 
That's why I asked you. She, she has to learn to accept it. That it's not linear. That now, it's it really is supposed to be the big, it's really supposed to be the story. But does, right. doesn't it also temper the judgment as well? No, cost, no, cost, cost tempers outcome. Just cost and dividends Always basically temper outcome, more or less. That, that, if the cost is Hannah and dividends is memory, she's actually learning to, to, to live yeah. each day in life. She's learning to have every memory as special, no matter what it is. So the specialness of having Hannah in her life and not thinking of it in a linear structure, but just whenever, that's a dividend, those memories. The cost is... Mm, well, I think sure. I think the dividends would be seen certainly as the if you look at Hannah as the interpreter, not as yes. uh, not Hannah. If you look at Louise as the interpreter, so the interpreter in her job definitely um, she does have some of the the past does sort of harm her, her under familiar, being aware of the past, or, or what appears to, what she thought was the past is actually, now that's, memories I get, the past is a little, a little tough for me on this one. Um, so the dividends of memories, and I think dividends also, when you think of it at the end, that everybody is going to benefit from having these kinds of memories as they, as they <coughs> learn the, the new way of thinking. You know, because okay. memories are the thinking non-linearly. There's there's some um, um, some benefits, and I think maybe the cost of that is that you tend to lose the past because it's no longer really a. It's no longer. Uh, that doesn't. That's, I don't know. It just seems like maybe so it's not in there. <laughs> May not be. Yeah. I mean, I feel yeah. like it's somehow tied up in the cost of going through this. It, the, the boundaries between us and Russia and China get drawn harder and harder and harder, and those are all past. There are past relationships that become more. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I see that, but I also feel like I'm imposing that a little bit. Well, if you're writing know, the story and you want to play up the that, cost, that would... Sorry. What? I was going to say, if he's going to write the story and play up the cost, then that would be a great way to do it. Yes. Not, it may not necessarily be explicit. In the, yeah. yeah, I, I the don't know that... I can think of a whole bunch of things that would work, mm -hmm. but I'm not drawing them from... That's why I said I don't want to, I don't want to create that's it. That's what so I feel like is, is in there a little... Yeah, that I think a little bit is too. Um, and I, I, there's something in there, you know, about the... Um, I mean, even when she gets essentially roped into it, which she wants to be, but she doesn't want to be because she's kind of a beard, doesn't really want to do anything, but, you know, they sort of, we picked you because you've done some work for us, you know, your past isn't there, it's kind of like a little bit of, oh, well, i got to work with these guys again. Remember, because she didn't like it, because she said, yeah, you made quick work of that uh, translation, yeah, you made quick work of those Whatever insurgents. they were. The oh, insurgents. Right. Yeah, Still, yeah, yeah. she right. set up the contest for the other guy to fail. She set those parameters up knowing he would probably fail at Berkeley. She wanted the job. She's maybe, maybe otherwise not. She wouldn't, otherwise, she wouldn't, have, uh, she wouldn't have bothered mentioning it. Go on to Berkeley. Get the schmuck. But she, she said, test them. Well, remember, it was, it was, that was after she found out what this was. When she made the comment... But it was before she knew it was about the aliens. Remember when he came in, her 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 comment about the past was well, was yeah. definitely a, a you know it was a dig, not a. But then when he said, "Oh, here, can you interpret this?" That's what intrigued her. So then she was like, "Oh, I I I do want I do want that. This one I like." <laughs> Um, I'd ha yeah, I'd, I'm not sure if these are really, really strong. I'd have to go through and look at it because it's it's so subjective. Um, what other things do we have in here that we need to signposts? Our signposts. 
All right, so for the overall story, we have gathering information, doing, obtaining, and understanding. Well, that sure looks good. Obtaining is when that's, that's, that's when they get all the data dump, and then they have to figure out what the heck it is, and ultimately she's... And Abbott dies. And Abbott, yeah, and loss, right, right? That's, that's the transition between third and fourth act, right? Um, and then the biggest misunderstandings are happening in the, in the, uh, with the, I, with the whole weapon, you know, use weapon or give weapon, give weapon, give weapon. Mm -hmm. So it starts off with the, the misunderstandings that are happening and ultimately comes to an understanding of what it is that they're really, will solve the, why they're really here. Um, and in doing, it's kind of like, okay, we got to go through all the basics of, of, uh, you know, start and start teaching and doing all just, everybody start doing their work. Everybody just sort of like, it's a job. And it's one thing that's a lot more explicit in the script because it, it kind of gives an indication of how many days have transpired because it looks in the movie like. Five days, four days. Well, in the, in the voiceover, says, he tells us it's four weeks. Oh, that's that's it. Okay, yeah, that's. She says session thirty six. Is this session thirty six or thirty seven at some point? Oh, okay, so, right, right, right. So yeah, so you get the, you know, in the doing one is where you also get that voiceover. There is no voiceover in the script. Huh. So that's, it was a way of basically communicating the same stuff that's in the. Oh, interesting. That they just show, I think it was because it was long enough as it was. <laughs> Although the script, the script's only 127 pages. Jeez. Um, the script is only 120. What? 127. 127 pages. Come, the movie came in. But also that's. Hours. But that's. But that's also. It's a production script, so there are a lot of, lot of short pages. pages. Mm -hmm. See so yeah, a lot of a lot of short pages. Um, so it's probably. I think if it if you pulled all that out, probably be about 118 pages because there were there were quite a few and omitted scenes and that kind of stuff um, and then you know just learning at the beginning I think that I think that works really well as a as a sequence for the overall story what about our main character okay Mem starting off with memories hmm <laughs> and that's kind of important uh, impulsive responses innermost desires and then contemplation um, I'd have to process it, but it feels right. Uh, so, again, thinking of, of memories as being sort of the central concern of that act, because she's like got these memories, she doesn't know what the hell they are. You know, if they, 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 you know, it's like they feel like memories, but I've not done these things. <laughs> I don't know, how, how can they be memories? Um, and impulsive responses, that's where she does the, takes off her hat, uh, off her, her, her um, helmet. Um, she also, doesn't she get into sort of squabble with somebody, one of the higher ups? That could be kangaroo also. <laughs> uh, that, no, it, I mean, I think, well, remember, kangaroo that's is probably, the that's, that's the overall yeah. story, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think you know you get in terms of the main character the third act, third act is where you get a lot more about her you know, a lot more about the family stuff and, and losing the husband and all of those when do we see the the heptapod in her room is that that's three? like the transition between I think three and is it two and three or three and four it might be three and four because it's Hannah saying Hannah's saying to her, Daddy looks at me different now or something, isn't there around about in that point? Around about that one? No. And she's lying asleep some... in the bed and she looks across on the head pods. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah. That's it's yeah, I think it's that she's had that dream and then she We think she's woken up in the room and then she looks across and, and sees the heptopod yeah. and then she's like, oh. then she wakes like, up. Yeah. And the bird is chirping. Right, and she which never chirps in a room. That's a dream. Right. 
because that bird's never in her room before. Maybe she just games with tweets. I have a question with these side posts and the main character. So, these side posts, and I, and I understand the, the difference between the storytelling and the chronological side posts, um, but in this particular case... It looks like this is the order in which... We the, see them. Yeah, I okay. don't think... That's why I said... I think that that first sequence is is supposed to be a memory. Okay. I don't think it's supposed to be a flash forward, and that's why it's it's so. But we, the first time you see the movie, that's like a foreign concept. How would you, you know? She just she's not, you know we would think it's a past a memory of the past, and they don't do anything to spoil that. You know they don't indicate that. You know, she's melancholy, so it's like, well, yeah, I'd be kind of bummed, too. Oh! Um, Is there an effective movie, though, if you can't watch it the first time and pick up on everything, and, and or by the end of the movie, be able to handle and process everything that just happened? Like, on six, you know, if you watch A Sixth Sense, you know, once you get the reveal, you can process all the stuff back and figure it all out. But, this is a little but if you watched, have you seen it more than once? Just want to rival no, 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 Sixth Sense. No, I didn't go back. If you watch it again, there's a lot of stuff that you that's in there. Wouldn't have picked up on. You didn't pick up on. Right. I mean, there's a lot of symbology in there, a lot of symbolism that as you were going through, you were just making assumptions. Right. And you watch it again, and it's like, if you do see it again, one this is probably M Night's only really good film. <laughs> um, and he didn't write it. Oh, well, good. Um, but the symbol, he uses red as an indicator of a barrier that, as a dead person, he can't, he can't touch it. So there's a red doorknob on the door to the basement. So you see him walk up to it, and then you see him walking down the stairs in the basement. You never see him open up a door. Or go through the the church has a red door on the church, so he's waiting for coal, and then he is inside the church and says, "Sorry, I'm late," you know, for our first appointment, and Cole is kind of giving him that, you know, cold shoulder thing because he's he knows what he is, um, and every single time you think that there's something that you know there's this red plays this usually, which of course is like you wouldn't notice it because there's no red, but it's there. And all of the transitions, you know, the first time you see him come home after he's, you know, had a conversation with Cole and his wife is asleep and there's watch, he's watching the video and he, he comes close to her and she, like, pulls up the, the comforter and, you know, because she's now cold, you know, you don't, not thinking about the effect of the ghost being, bringing all the cold air, but, I mean, it's all in there. So if you, if you watch it again, it's really entertaining because you can see it's just like everywhere in this you know all the things that you feel you you know you filled in the normal things that you would put in there and realize none of them are there and all of the things that you didn't notice are the things that indicate what's really going on it's really clever so and there's it's okay a, to have a it's part of the if art. you enjoyed the if you enjoy it if you you know if you watch if you it's kind of like it, the very first time you watched it and you knew what in uh, in the sixth sense? What the what the the surprise was? It's not fun. It's not as fun. Right. It's just it it's plays. The second if, time, once you know, but you you wouldn't want to know the conceit. Because you don't get the the one of the things that is really nice about it is the story weaving surprise. You know, they kind of withhold one really big important thing, or the fact that he is always wearing the same clothing. And they do some really clever things about hiding that. For instance, when he's in the audience um, watching the play the first time, or, you know, he's in the audience, all the people, all the guys around him are dressed just like him. So it doesn't stand out that he's, you know, in the, in the kind of thing, you know, kind of shirt and tie and jacket that he's, he's, he has on. So it's, I mean, it's really interesting when the way it's done is all these things to make him look normal by changing the environment that he's in. 
you know, so uh, the, this they do a lot of that in here too. Now, if you watched it and you didn't enjoy it, because it just sort of was like, what the hell was going on? Which I know a lot of people had that problem. Then it wasn't successful for them. Um, I watched it and I was going, you know, I got to that point until just about 20 minutes from the end and then I was like, oh, this is what's going on. Okay, I got it. And then it was all making sense. Um, but, you know, I didn't, I got it from that point on <laughs> and I could kind of figure out the big things. But then when I watched it again, it's like, oh, man, they just set this up all the way down the line. They're, everything is everything is you know is put right out there and as i said they had some things in the script which were a little bit too much on the nose that they really played down or changed you know like it's not mommy and daddy save the world they made mommy and daddy speak to animals you know or you know having her say what she says to the uh, to general shang in chinese as opposed there are no subtitles, so you don't know what she says, so you don't know exactly how it's going to play out. You kind of guess how it's going to play out, because you see where it ends up, but you don't know what the next step is between now and then. So, it's, that's, that's the idea. And in this case, because for the overall story, sign, uh, the main character signposts, the story the main character through line spends, you spend a lot more time in the main character through line than you would in some stories. And it starts off with the main characters through line and it ends with the main character through line. So, you know, it's, it's spread out more in the overall story. The overall story ends, what, 10 minutes before the end of the movie? Yeah. You know, um, which is fine as long as, you know, we're involved enough to know to stay with whatever's left over. It's always better to end the overall story early than to end the relationship story because that relationship story is the heart. So if you end the relationship story early or the main character early, then you have no, whatever's playing out at the end is like, well, I have no involvement in this, neither emotionally nor personally. So you get that's that's why you always have to be really careful about doing that. But you can do that. You can stagger it. Um, what? Kill them all. Off. What the other? What was the influence character? Um, the influence order? character order is present, past, how things are changing, the future. Okay. Isn't it? Isn't in the. Uh, yeah, the future is that's when we find out what, what, what they need us for. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just uh, signposting to the past. Um, we're, we're stumbling on the past again. Uh. <laughs> right, well again, this is, this is the aliens as they influence her. her. So, um, now, part of it, isn't it this... Isn't it sort of when they start, she's, they start, their, their influence on her, she starts having more flash, more flashbacks, back, flashbacks. forwards, yeah. 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 You know, and we, then Costello never, sacrifices himself. Yeah, I think that's in the How Things Are Changing. Is there a Bruce Fackerson? Abbott. He does, he knows, he knows he's going to die when he does the bomb thing, that's what we all work out. Um, and not the world, this is all Costello's well, how story. things are changing is the progress of uh, getting her to, to learn the new language or to open up to nonlinear time and, and her own time is ticking away. Right, and I think you see that in their, in their relationship too. You know, you see that that's what the... I feel like progress three is she's able to really communicate with that, right? She's made a lot of progress, but... Well, I think they're able to communicate to her, too. Mm -hmm. Remember, I think that's, that's kind of... Right, 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 right. Kind of the key is that they're... they're they, you know, they're, they're almost like talking about, okay, 
hear hear how things are changing, and then eventually they start sort of talking about where this is going. And the fact they literally talk to her about where this is going, and we're going to need you. <laughs> um, but also, I think it's the fact that they affect her understanding of the future to a really strong degree. Mm-hmm. You know, so so much so. Um, but and and then clearly they reveal their purpose there. Well, and they do impact her future. If she did not learn the language from them. Well, she and you see, not you see in the relationship, you know, changing one's nature is in that, in in the fourth act, which is I think that's that's where she sort of fr- fully begins to develop the skills to use. The way the new way of thinking, as opposed to just be a sort of being affected by the transition. And, and can I also say that she's a bee becoming a doer when she changes her nature? Does that sound right? She does become a doer, yes. Okay, yeah. And you see that as a it's a, a an arc as opposed to a um, sort of a leap of faith. Right. She doesn't just sort of go, you know. Bing, yeah, I'm gonna do. It's yeah. just she goes from being a, you know, she's, yeah. she's gradually changed as opposed to. But, but that won't always line up with changing one's nature. No, 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 no. The changing one's nature has to do with I think the nature of their relationship is that they basically have become much well. It's right. like them going, her going in and breathing their environment and yeah. drawing their language and stuff. I mean, they really have become she's a two of a kind. What? She's a pod. Yeah. Well, they talked about that. Once they got rid of the third wheel, that's what you noticed. That. <laughs> she went, when she had seven fingers, when she was ten. <laughs> <laughs> so you and I are just alike. Thing. Oh, yeah. It's interesting in the script they described them as this this part that you see, not being the whole being. It's almost like the end of an arm. Mm-hmm. That there's actually something much, much, much well, bigger. Like oh, I got that in the smoke. Don't you see that in the smoke? Yeah, yeah, you see yeah, that in like the giant a big head up no, the no, top. No, 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 no. Like much that's bigger. that's like an arm oh. of something really big. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. yeah but they they changed it. <laughs> Put you <sweet> with <laughs> that. It's, yeah, it's like no, no, no. They say the pod is as tall as the Empire State Building. I mean, they don't say it, but when you look at the feet... Oh, the yeah, oh you mean the, the ship? Yeah. 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 The yeah, ship yeah, is yeah. as tall as the Empire State Building. The, th- the uh, junior mint. That's sort of what it looks like. <laughs> 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 the little curve. <laughs> <laughs> this is all in the cycle episode. <laughs> <laughs>